Well, Steve Park, you're here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I like to check the sound before I get too far into this thing. Uh, the mute, the settings. Jessica, I got two. Um, yeah, default microphone, 922 Pro Stream. See, that's not what I want. See, I'm glad I checked. I want my Yeti Nano. Yeti Nano. See, that should sound better right away. Yeti Nano. Should sound better. They'll create those dulcet tones that I'm famous for. Holy smokes. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, okay. Well, that was yesterday. Today is a new day. Today is a brand new day. Okay, we go here. We go here. Go here. Yeah, all right. We got that squared away. Now go back here. Doing all this stuff. Rachel and Stereo. I can hear you loud and clear. Thanks, Mac. This is good. Hey, Bash. Welcome from Essex. Beautiful county in England. Boy, did we love Essex, didn't we, Sue? Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, everybody. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. That's kind of a weird one. It's not as bad as Leonard Skinner's that, you know, oh, that smell. Oh, that smell. Like, yeah. that's a horrible, horrible lyric. Just <laughs> Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Eric. Classic sound wave call. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm sure we're going to have uh, just the rafters, uh, or, uh, just a rattling up above our heads as we uh, talk about music and all that stuff. Got to tell you, yesterday was a non-music day. I did not spin a record. That sounds like a great lyric, Joseph. A rainy day in Georgia. Doesn't sound like a a lyric for sure. Good morning, Joseph. Nice to see you here as well. Yeah, Yvonne is back from his business trip. He's north of Norway, of all places. Uh, the, us human beings, we sure stretched out across this world. I know I have a little Scandinavian uh, ancestry because of uh, your part of the world. You know, the Vikings come into England. And I know Sue. Here's the interesting thing about Sue's name. Her mom's a Haldane. Haldane. It means half Danish. And it's but she's English. She's Scottish, very largely Scottish. A lot of English DNA in this little lady over here, Scoozy. And uh, but it's uh, you know, that name Haldane, right? Why would somebody be called half Dane unless, right? And there's a whole part of England on the west east coast, east coast, called the the Dane Law. The Dane Law. And this is from the Danes when they conquered the the Vikings come in the land uh, in uh, in England, and of course William the Conqueror, the most famous example. Uh, and because of William the Conqueror, England's the royal court was speaking uh, French for like hundreds of years over there. Can you imagine? C'est tragique. Uh, just pop in and hear Rachel sing a Leslie Gore song. It's my party in the cry if I want to cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? I'm glad Sir James won't be under his mom's regime anymore. Under my mom is a guy who had a puppet down under my mom. So what's going on? What do you mean? Glad Sir James won't be under his mom's regime anymore. What are you talking about? What you talk about, Willis? Goosebumps. Yes, absolutely, Daddy Bog. Uh, they say that on Mr. Mayo streams today. What do they say on Mr. Mayo streams today? What the hell's going on? I spun one record, uh, record yesterday, John Lee Hooker, traveling mono, OG. I want to get a mono card. See, that sounds mono. Yeah, mono. Hey, Dave. Fellow music nerd, fellow music nerd. I picked a bad time to go to the Dent Bosch Record Fair. Big James News indeed. What the hell's going on? Bring me up to date. Ivan, Yvonne says Sir James is moving. Yvonne, holy shit. Yvonne, I want to know everything about this. <laughs> the emancipation of Sir James. This is crazy. Holy shit. That guy can't find his way to a mailbox. Where the, where the fuck's he going to go? All right, let me know. I want to know. Come on up. Yvonne, come and tell me the story. 
Yeah. Ivan said these men, they sent out a male stream. Well, I don't, if you know any more about this, let me know. Where the fuck's he going to go? The guy can't add fucking three plus three. How's he going to pay the rent? <laughs> Just, it makes no sense. Going to an assisted living situation. I don't know. Well, what the? Are you kidding me? Can go away. I don't want to hear that. He's going to an assisted living. He's not going. We. I mean, that's Sue's she theory. Did. She's going as an example. Kind of oh man, come on! Is the chair going to? <laughs> Jesus, come on! I played a Viking in a video. Full disclosure. <laughs> I played a Viking in a video. Uh, grew my first beard, wore leggings, had sword fights, rode a horse, and encountered Valkyrie. Uh, listen, you be nice, Brad. Okay, his mom is not seeing. You know, she's uh, quick as a whip. She's a, and she mom was right. I'm team mom all the way. I am team mom. Uh, okay, I spun uh, Paul Simon still crazy yesterday. Great sunny I'm still crazy after all these years. Wait, did you say Massey is going? <laughs> Stop it! It's <laughs> horrible, Massey. <laughs> Oh, God, you people. What a start to the day. You got to hear about Massey? <laughs> so this, okay, so Mayo, if you're lurking, is he Mayo streaming right now? What the hell's going on, uh, Joe Mayo? Uh, mean Joe Mayo, mean Mr. Mayo. Hang on. Mayo, let's see what he's up to. Uh Okay. Uh, no, he, he doesn't seem to be going live right now. Joe, <laughs> Joe, if you're around, where the hell is he going to go? Man, was or no, he's not anymore. <clears throat> uh, maybe Beetle Babe will come over here. Yeah, where's Beetle Babe? I haven't heard from her for a while. And we're in good state. Me and Beetle Babe are good friends. You know, everything's going good with us. She's a busy gal. She's busy. She a busy gal. Some people were, we filmed, were like, are you filming a porno? We had horned helmets and fur vests and everything. Just everything, Rachel. We had it all. Uh, anyway, so any indication of where the boy may be going? Where's this young, plucky young kid going with the puppets? Is Miss Piggy going to go with him? And his puzzles? Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Well... Uh, I have Yvonne dropped a bombshell. It's a bombshell. Go into the chat. Go in the chat and talk to me. Okay. Well, is he on? Yeah. Is he live? Yeah. I'm subscribed to him. Ivan has the link. Okay. How come I'm? Oh, it's his new thing. Yeah. His other channel. Hang on, Jesus. Hang on, I gotta do this stuff. Okay, I'm not subscribed. I gotta subscribe to the other channel. Holy shit. Okay, Mean Joe Mayo. See, I've got I'm subscribed to Mean Joe Mayo. 14.6 thousand subscribers. That's incredible. Okay, so what's this deal? Uh okay, so I gotta watch my own show. Here's my problem. Here's my struggle. I gotta watch my own TV show. Do your channel. Go here. Mute. Oh, he's got the donuts. <laughs> okay, open link. Open link in new tab. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, four seconds here. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, oh, he's got 1,000 seven seconds. Hi, Joe. I had to, uh, I had to sub here. Heading uh, back. 
show, but is James Ono Bowie moving to? Uh, are we discussing it? My show. Um, I have to head back. But, uh, uh, but, uh, and uh, so we'll uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta give him a love heart. Hang on, everybody. I'm just over in Joe's stream. Okay, you split my comment up on his thing. I Joe had to sub here. Uh, as a end back show, but where is James Ona moving to? Brunswick. <laughs> all right i'm out of there all right so that was really good sorry everybody i just had to go so they don't know exactly there's no details on where he's actually going the problem is and I, I mean, I am, yeah, I kept this guy quiet, seclusion, such a humble man. Holy shit. What a song. Uh, good morning, you wonderful lady. I always start my day off right. Thank you for that. Thank you, Dan. All right, everybody. Uh, Mayo's movie. Anyway, yeah, I'm all sub to it. I had to do that. Um, the puppet incident was catalyst. There's so much. So that's the catalyst. So James is forsaking his beautiful mom. Now the problem is, is like no, it's I'm not his kidding you. His mom kicked him out. Well, no, his mom wouldn't <laughs> kick him out. His mom would be like, um, I think the problem is that, um, yeah, everybody subscribe to Joe's channel. Boom, this is his new live stream channel. Joe's thinking of uh, doing double double uploads or something to like put him on his main channel. But anyway, uh, God bless Joe. So they don't really know. And all they know is that the word is out that uh, James Ona Bowie on, this, on the move. But here's the problem. No, his mom. No, this is not going to happen. That didn't happen. Okay, here's yeah. the problem. And he can't live with the sister because what's the oh, sister no. doing, right? I don't think she wants anything to do with it. Uh, Joe's thinking about quitting his live stream. I don't buy it for no. a second. Uh, it's too much fun. Too easy to do. Good morning, Matt. Welcome to the show. Anyway, uh, we're trying to catch the guy Hal pushed in a spate. Yeah, it's like, holy shit, Eric. You're so right. But okay, so no, but seriously, unless there's been some sort of acuity improvement on James Smart, no offense to the guy, but I'm serious. We did a whole episode where James goes out to the to not to the bathroom. <laughs> Happy birthday, James. How old is he now? How the fuck old is he? Here's the deal. 
<laughs> it's a fucking deal. It, we had a whole episode where James goes to the mailbox by himself. It was tense. It didn't go smoothly, but he got it done. But how, if this guy's going to move out on his own, right? Think about this, final community. Our boy's all grown out. He sure is. James all grown up. According to Facebook, he's 55 years old. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Mailbox, yeah, with their Brad, that was James Ghost to Mailbox. When Rob gets here, I'll get him to update you on it. I can't talk too much about it. It's very disturbing and all the rest of it. He's never left his house alone. Well, this is so my this is my conundrum, Patrick. Like if this young buck is going to forage his way out there in this big world of ours, it's a big scary world, and I wish him well. <laughs> God damn it. I'm worried about this kid. The first guy on the street corner with a puppet. Hey, little boy. Will you come to my house? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anyway, I think the whole thing is uh, a recipe for disaster. I mean, there's utilities. I, I mean, does a guy... How are the util? How is he going to... And the bills? Who's going to handle all that? I just don't see any of this going to happen. Still move out and have someone take care of your necessities. It can happen. Well, it happened for me with you. Yeah. Obviously, I. <laughs> yes. Obviously, I can't function. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! It's just so bizarre. I doubt the authorities would allow James to live on his own after quote the incident. Yeah, well, there is that. Unlimited internet access. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Becky. Hi, little Becky. You like puppets? <laughs> Holy shit, man. You can't make this stuff up. Anyway, uh, well, I, 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 I am very curious about what future events will, uh, will tell us as, uh, as uh, things unfold. But to me, it just seems like this is a lot of bravado at this point. It certainly is not going to be by himself. There's no way. he. There's no way he could do it. Oh, I can't get my Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> you know, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, I hope I make you happy, Rachel, today with some gossip. Yvonne, this is incredible stuff. The puppets killed James Chance to live alone. <laughs> Jesus, taking the bite. It's just crazy what is going on in this vinyl community of ours. But anyway, well, we wish the lad well wherever he goes, you know, wherever the fates decree. Uh, because here's what I had understood, okay? This is the real thing. This is maybe as interesting as Clowney. Well, it's but he's our own. James is our guy. Here's the thing. After, quote, uh, let me see, uh, the incident, let's call it the incident. After the incident he was he was released into the care from what i understand this is what i was told uh by james and by his mom i had counsel privy counsel and with talks especially with the dear sister who at that time was still married to her very evil husband apparently he was evil and uh <laughs> as long as he has that secret chip to her he can't take the Who's going to move his chip to her thing? <clears throat> I mean, you think about the moving costs and everything. I don't know, People man. People have been looking after him for years. It's yeah, well, this, okay, now. who's going to look after him now? That's what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. Or is he looking after himself now? Is this the move? Yeah. Is this James Unleashed? Yeah, Chauncey, if you followed the old story, there was an evil husband involved. The evil husband, yeah, and then there was the divorce, yeah. Anyway, it's all alleged. I can you know, I would, I don't remember everything. Uh, you've all, you've lost all your brain cells this morning. He's, listen, I'm as he hired a maid. Who's today's sponsor? We got the end group helping us out. Big Mike, Mike and Angel from the end group. We love them. But uh, okay, so no, but I'm uh, I'm hot on this story only because of the mailbox incident and because of the other quote incident. 
And uh, so he was released into the care and his sister apparently has legal guardianship over him. This is one thing that was said. Sue, is that a brain cell lost or is that true? Plus I'll change that again. Okay, go ahead. What does that mean? Can the sister not take care of the bills? And sure I'm ve- okay? Yes, Brad, I'm very concerned. Uh, maybe James is going to join Pibital on his next auction to sell his Beatles stuff to help with the moving costs. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are correct there. Uh, Massey would have a manservant, if anything. It's either one manservant. Can you imagine Massey's manservant? <laughs> that would be a good thing. Because you're watching Massey show records. Oh, uh, Charles, could you bring me that Grateful Dead album? The one where they're at the beach. <laughs> yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Maslov. You know, and then he'd, he'd bring that in his man. His man, sir. <laughs> yes. Powerful comment. It's very insightful because you can kind of picture it all go down. Anyway, um, I find this very interesting, this development. To me, it sounds more like a case of bravado. I don't think the kid's going to go anywhere. I think it's a tempest in a teacup. I can't see it. I really can't. Who's going to adopt him? Who's going to take him in? You tell me, Sue. You start using your imagination. Oh, yeah, he's going to live with that puppet that was calling his mama bitch. You know, is that going to be happening? No, the puppets in America, if I might understand. You know, when you take a man's cave, you take take their soul as well. The man cannot live without his cave, Sue. Uh, Families deal with crap. It happens, Rach. Bullshit. Not like this. Not like this. This is beyond anything you've ever ever had an experience about uh, producer yeah you think about okay who okay name one person in your family that you fear them moving up by themselves how about your mother my mother your other mother before the past yeah okay right and where did she go with me the the son she's with me Listen, hear me out. <laughs> this is an old lady. She had to come with me. I was the only one left alive. So the point is, is that where's James going to go? A dear aunt? An uncle? 55 years young. Remember when she lived in her own apartment for all those years? And we looked after her and did everything for her? Oh. Yeah. Oh. But what if the cops bust him? Like there's that unmonitored? You're leaving this guy? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Susan? Good Lord. I am doing my research. I can't believe it. I, I absolutely cannot believe this, what you're telling me. Um... <laughs> now okay well okay okay now here's one thing that he's done he's taken all somebody's gone in and helped him out and they've taken all the channels that he follows so we can't we can no longer he's all this is a first step it used to be filled with all these like uh little girls and that now that's all gone. You can't even see anything. Uda Huska, we're talking about independence and a new world. A lot of chips to eat. There's gonna there's a lot of living to do. Uh Robert says running away from home is highly overrated. Stay at home, all your restless spirits. He's got a little knapsack, a little red bag with it's got a little red kerchief. With little white polka dots all over it. He's put on a stick and he put his his snack jar in there. He's going. All right, let's get Yvonne in. Anyway, that's great. Quite the quite the hella story. 
we talk about a brave new world of the sir. Holy smokes. That's crazy. We're going to get Yvonne up. Yes. And Brad, Brad Teal is the one that broke this story wide open. I had no idea what was going on over there. Puppets were going wild, attacking the guy's mother. And then apparently the latest rumor is that he's abandoning the mother to go out and forge a new existence. Uh, okay. Now, I need help with my cousin in Las Vegas. She thinks she's 20 in the past, 20 years in the past. Seizures, bedbound, refuses medical care. No close kin but me and her nephew. Was she going to be moving in with you? Because that's what Sue's proposing with her stupid theories. Ivan, I'm so glad you're here to help bring balance. You like that news? I think it's huge news. Listen, yeah. we did you? I don't know if you were around when we had the mailbox incident. No, I don't. I've heard about something, but I don't. I have not. not it was. Not, it was the first time the boy, because he gets a lot of VCLT and stuff from the viral community, you know, back in those days, and uh, so he was going. Go, oh, I gotta go into my mailbox. So we watched him go, and he filmed it live, and we could. The camera was going. It was incredible. One of our best episodes. James goes to the mailbox. It didn't go like it wasn't without its its problems. He came back. I think initially it was a fail, but he went back and got it done proper the second time because it'd be hard to figure out how the key works and where it goes, right? Anyway, eventually that got done and dealt with. But now this new news, Yvonne, how do you picture, where do you think, how do you envision this unfolding? Like, where is he going to go? Is he going to have his own? bachelor pad I, i'm yeah. not sure maybe one one thing could be maybe his mom also moving they both move everyone moving i don't know what? But, uh... oh hold on wait a sec wait a sec maybe the mom could be moving too yes that was what thinking about yeah. we've got to get the bottom of this story somebody in new brunswick but I think uh, it, was, it was Stanley in the in the mayor uh, stream that told that he was moving. Okay, who's who's is that, who gave the new who broke the story? A, a, a guy called Danny. He's in the Danny in the stream. Danny, the Danny yeah. heard about it. Yeah. All right. That guy that's always with the okay. Mr. Mayor. He has a wife that's talking uh, to him uh, on the side, uh, oh. not in the picture. Uh, okay, there's uh, Art's got the top three places he goes number one, YMCA, two, group home, three, Massey's. You're not <laughs> going to be going to Massey's, there's no way. Uh, Danny has his finger on the very pulse of vinyl community, yeah. I think Sir James and Mama sell their house. Oh, yeah. well, this makes sense. This is a non story, yeah, that could oh, be the yeah. case. Oh, now this makes sense. This is a no-brainer. This is, okay, listen. Danny Ambrosi Isamosikos, sidekick Danny, found out about the move. Ismaios, Ismaios. Danny Ambrosi Ismaios. Is that Sviji? Is he talking Sviji to you? Because you can tell. Ismaios. Ismaios. Ow! Ow! It's, it's he means Joe Mayo, Ivan. <laughs> Danny Ambrosi is Joe Mayo's sidekick. Danny, yeah. him. okay, this is okay. Now it the all sidekick, makes sense. the sidekick to Mr. Mayo. He's he okay. told that news. Yeah, Ivan, yeah. you're blowing smoke up our butts because here's what here's the deal. Okay, when you blow smoke up a butt, that means like you got it's all wrong. Everything's okay. wrong. Here's what's going on. But it's not wrong. He's moving, so it's not wrong. Oh, Jesus. You're going to double down? Ivan, really? You're going to double he's, down on this? He's, he's moving. Okay, he is moving. A conceded. <laughs> point conceded. I didn't say everything. He could be moving with his mom. With yeah, his, uh, now it makes or... sense. If he's going with mom, it, there's, there's is no story. Have a good luck, mom and James. Have a fun move. Bless you both. Okay, that's the official policy. That's the official statement. Uh, what was blowing my mind is like, oh, mom, I've had it, you bitch. 
I'm li- I'm with the puppet because the puppet was mean and called his mama a bitch. And I'm going with my bum and I'm leaving, right? And then he's out living his bachelor life, checking out stuff on the internet, anything he wants. And you're going, oh my God, like this, is there a law against this, you know? And uh, so now everything makes sense. Everything, my world has fallen into place again. I was absolutely Not like that. I was nonplussed. It was like the carpet had been pulled out from under me, the old rug out from under. I go flying. I'm without a paddle upstream because I'm so, I'm so glad Rachel, that you restricted internet access. That's I'm so glad, Rachel, doing. that you didn't get heart problems or some other uh, stuff after this news. But uh, well, I didn't tell might. anything. It was true that he was moving. So yeah. Now, did you have? Oh, Jesus! There's a double down again. Now, did you have concerns that I might have health issues following the announcement? It could you could be too much excited and, and then maybe a heart can start was. pumping. Well. <laughs> anyway, the point is, Yvonne. The point is, Yvonne. You gotta get a pair of these. These are amazing. Anyway, the point is, Yvonne. Uh it's the whole thing like if he goes with mom that's great that makes all sense it's a big house maybe they're downsizing right that's i heard okay. they're moving very close to you they're going you're going to be neighbors with him that'd be fantastic <laughs> that'd be wonderful we could go to the mailbox together yeah. anyway so now if he's going with mom everything's safe but what i what freaked me out is i couldn't envision this poor young man foraging out like you Ivan. Yeah. like are, now are you independent do you know how to do your taxes or do you know how to pay a light bill or yes i finished all? my taxes and i i must pay a lot of money back again to yeah. the government so that's terrible yeah. news for me but um, yeah. i can do everything and do you go to the grocery store by yourself and Get your get your Fruit Loops and stuff. And I I can I can show I I was in a business trip uh, this two three days and uh, I bought on. some records. Hold on, you're on a business trip. I've been and on a business yet, trip. Yeah, hold on, Ivan. You're on a business trip. Yeah. But what did you do on the business trip? Yeah, and you you bought records. Yeah, That's I was on business. that. I was, Unless I, you better be a record salesman. Okay, yeah, I bought right. some records, but uh, the whole whole pur- purpose with the business okay. trip that was uh, I'm in a union. I'm a leader of a, one of the union we have it at oh. my work. So we was okay. on a yearly meeting for all the union union yeah. people. So that was my. But I bought this this one. All right, here we go, buddy. All right, Black Sabbath. This is the greatest hits. It's a collection. Yes, it is. It's a greatest hits collection. It's a gateful. There's yeah, the game. And it's nice. Do you have a favorite member of uh, Black Sabbath other than, uh, uh, let's say, Ozzy Osbourne and Tony Iommi? I should is be it honest. Me? Are you a geezer? I or should are be you honest. A that, uh, Rachel, this is yeah. not my kind of music. I like Ozzy Osbourne. He is fun. But okay. uh, I I know everyone talking about Black Sabbath in the VC community. So yeah. I, think, I, I think I was looking for a compilation with a lot of good Black Sabbath uh, yeah. instead of bo- ba- buying all those uh, separate records. So I, I found yeah. this in very nice condi- condition. Yeah. And it's a, it's, a, it's a original also. Okay, well, it's an OG. We call that the original gangster. We borrowed that from our hip-hop friends. Do you know yeah. that? We got that? Hi, Scott. We've avoided a crisis already this morning. Yvonne started us right down a river of no return, but we're all corrected course. And Everything I think in the dead box uh, here is is uh, 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 Mark U R O Ola Vis or something. Ola, yeah. I don't know. Ola Vis. Ola V. Ola V. Ola V. Ola V. It's very good. Now, yeah. folks, if you're just joining us, we're in Norwegian, and we yes. got Ivan, and he's showing his records that he bought. In Sveji or Malmo or something. No, I bought this in Trondheim. Trondheim. That's Trondheim where is the a town in the middle of Norway. Did you know you had submarines there in World War II? I think the Shornhurst was in Trondheim. 
Okay, Trondheim is a very old, it's the first city in Norway. Where, well, uh, it's very a old, big so. German submarine base in World War II or something. They don't. This is a very nice record. Okay. Have you heard what about this? Of, it, well, it looks like sea 2 dolphins. I see, it's this called like Blanche, nice Blanche Manche. The group is called Blanche Manche. Blanche Manche. Okay. And they have a, a very big hit with uh, Don't Tell Me and... Uh, also, a, a version of the day before you came. It was the ABBA song, and this is oh. the, they have a new version of the. ABBA okay, can song. you hum any of those songs so people get a sense of what this is about? Like, can no, you do no, a I'm hum? Not, like, I'm not. I'm oh. not a singer. I'm. I'm not a singer. Okay. Well, uh, my next guest is thankfully he'll sing that for me. This is the day before you came. Yeah. 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 This sing, this sing for me. The day before you came. That was <laughs> right. It. It's a cover for Abba. It's a cover for Abba, yeah. This, okay, uh... Ivan, hold on. Now, don't show music because we got this story. Here's the comment. This tells us everything. This puts my world into order. Sadly, I think this is an odd story. A long time ago, in the days of the trolls in the Trondheim, they talked about selling the house, and he was going to move somewhere else with his mama. That's what's going on. Mom's coming. It's everything's going to be okay. I was so worried that this young buck would be out there trying to forage. Can you imagine trying to get Campbell's soup and you're struggling to know which is to go with cream of mushroom? And you know, how what are you going to do? This could have been horrific. Disastrous alert of Stephen Schnee. You are so right. You're so right. I am absolutely and we're making it all happen. My uh, guests today are Ivan from Nervi and also Adis Erstis from Israel. And I am so happy to have both gentlemen. They're, I love them both. If I could hug them close to my bountiful bosom, I would hug them and comfort them both. Okay, now oh, that's good. That is blow. Okay, what I about think, I think uh, I think these know this. I have looking for uh -oh. this in many, many years. And they have these this uh, hit, or hit song. Rapping blow, rapping blow. They break the brakes. The brakes. The the America. Yeah. Does it have America, or is it another album? They have rapping blows. The brakes way out west through your wow. ears. Hard times. And, We're coming uh, to blows here, vinyl community. I have one. This one also. Yeah. Okay, hold and on. Let's take a look. The juice. The getting hot getaway. Okay. Do do rocking. So it's a good. I think Curtis. Uh, I like this guy. This okay, hold on, Ivan. You're old so old school rap. Old school rap. Ivan, you're gotten too excited here. Let's settle you down. Let's okay, calm you okay. the hell down. Tell me about Blow. Like, what's Blow about? What's he do? I I don't know, but this was his uh, first. Uh, the song "The Breaks" was a very popular song. I'm just reacting, getting a decent reaction to Blow. Yeah. Blow, Curtis Blow is an old school hip hop. And one of the first rappers you can say. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Even uh, you've got what's called rap records. Yeah. Even rap those records. are rap records. Yeah. Did you buy those in Trondheim? I bought this in Trondheim. Old school hip hop. Okay. Old school hip hop in Trondheim. Yeah. These have you ever wanted to go to Noviji and see trolls and stuff and snow? Yeah, yeah. Um, Wouldn't that be great? Remember when they had the Olympics in in Oslo and there were all sorts of trolls? They were everywhere. There was like a troll outbreak in Norway. Um, there were so many trolls in Norway that I saw on the television, and they had the Olympics and Winter Olympics in. In Oslo. No, it was in Lillehammer. Yeah. In Lillehammer. It was yeah. also in Lillehammer. In 1994, 90, I think, or 96. Was that how long ago it was? It seems like yesterday. I'm still, all I remember were trolls everywhere. But Rachel, you should not think about trolls because it's trolls all around in your stream, in the VC, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. They are everywhere. But yeah. the ones in Norway, I would say they have the best ones because they're all kind of got beards and well, ours do too, though. So I guess have a tail. Have a tail. In the, the cave. Have a tail. Yeah. Do they have a ma a man cave or just tails? <laughs> Troll cave. Well, I'm so happy about this. 
Rap, not worth a hill of crap. Kurt is not a rap fan. Okay, but DJ show you. Yeah. Yeah. Curtis Blow was huge back in the day. Yes. Even had a holiday rap called Christmas Rapping. Mm, I have that record yeah. also. Can you but do the any best record I bought oh. was this one? Okay, hold on. Let's see this now. Okay. The Black Keys. The Black, the Black Keys. Keys. Is that a brand okay. new album? It was released last Friday. Oh. And it's a very, very good rock and roll with a lot of soul in it. So it's. Yeah. Uh, this album is so good. It's, it's on red vinyl. I'm not opened yeah. it yet. I, I just come home from the business trip just some hours Holy ago. smoke. You see that gal there bowling? So let's open it. Uh oh, it's yeah. not opening oh. from Ivan. Thank you, Ivan, for oh. doing great content on the show. Yeah. Hey, get good down. Don't tear it. There we go. Uh, okay. Here it comes. It's got an air sleeve and everything with the vinyl community and a lyric sheet, maybe even. Oh, Hi. look at that. It's on a beautiful red vinyl. Red vinyl. Yes, beautiful. And I think it's a poster also here or some big stuff here. I don't know. Hi, yeah. James. We're what we're in Tron team. We were anyway. The black keys are bowlers. Yeah. Ball the one, look, the one guy at the back looked kind of like the Reverend Rock and Rollin'. Yeah, Hi, Robbie. Wow. Very cool. Thank you. Enjoy yeah. it. That is great. And I like the cover. It's so nice. It's so nice. The cover. Okay. Right. Well, it's got a bowling ball on it. Hey, booty. did you yeah. guys ever want to own your own bowling ball? Like you could get it colored and you're and it customized to your own finger grip. So when you put your fingers in it, it's totally formed to your shape of you. Rachel, I'm gonna surprise you because I'm yeah. I'm I love bowling and I'm the mem I'm the leader of the local bowling club here in my what? town. You're not. Yes. Really? I have, I have, uh, can I see ball. your ball? I, I'm gonna. I, I can go and and get uh, the and ball. I'm gonna get, get them. I'm gonna get them for you, but okay. it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, I know it's heavy, but be careful. But get. I want to love to see your ball. <laughs> this is great. These are you as excited as I am over seeing them. Get on and awesome. get them. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. You will you take your time. I'll put you down. I'll put these up while you go. Go get Rachel. the ball. He's gonna get the ball. Rachel, you know what day it is today? Yes. You do? Yes, of course. What is it? What day is it today? It, it is uh, Purim, the first day of Purim. No, no. Uh, it's was... the first day of Yom Kippur. No, it's my birthday. It's the first day of your birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday, Dees! Thanks, thanks. Okay, I'm going to sing happy birthday for you now. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, happy yeah. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dees. Dees. You're the best guy. I know you Ooh. are our D's. Me, I love you. All right, buddy. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So Thank you. this is the big one. You're 21. You're, are you going to go out to the bar to celebrate and go, okay, I'm 21. Yeah. I'm legal. I can go have my first drink. Now, here's what you do. Make sure you have plenty of water and don't have more than three. This is your first time. That you'll be blitzed. You'll just be so gone. So if we, if you just have three drinks, and make sure you're in the company of other friends, because I don't want you dying on your own vomit. Okay, because that yeah. happens to a lot of guys. They get out. What? Hold on. Something else what? has happened. Today is my birthday too. Wow. Sorry, D. Like, <clears throat> no, of course. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John C. You're the second best guy because I already said this was the best. Happy second best guy ever day to you. I love you as well, John C. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, do you have your own merch in our store? Like some deep, deep merch? I could put a little Star of David on it and stuff and whatnot. Yeah. And maybe I'll hold you holding a watch. 
Can you hold your wife? I'll take a picture of you. A screenshot. Like, uh, show it on my wrist? Or, yeah, like uh... that. And then hold on now, just a sec. I got to get my proper application. I want that look right into your camera with the biggest smile you can imagine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, here we go. And okay. And that's it. We got it. Perfect. So <laughs> we're going to do that. I'm saving the image now. I'm excited. These uh, watch merch. Thank you. Now, Thank you'll you. never see a penny of this because, you know, I'm kind of cheap. But I'm going to tell you something, Dees. Oh, Every penny I make from this thing, I'm going to think of you and be very grateful for, to you for helping me out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we, oh, my God, I wanted to see your ball. But now I get to see both your balls. That is incredible. I love the colors. Oh, wow. Do you have a favorite, uh, Ivan? Which one it's, is your favorite uh, when you ball? Do, when you do bowling, you have always a strike ball and a spare ball. Yeah. This is my this is my strike. Yes. This is, uh, this is my strike ball, the uh, red one, and the blue one is my spare ball. No, make the make that one. I think your game will improve if you make your uh, left ball your main go-to ball. No, that's that is that's impossible because in bowling inside I here. I love his balls. Like those yeah, were incredible. Rachel, Rachel inside yeah. here is a. It's, I don't know we call it in English, but it's some like a small ball inside. Yeah. And uh, this uh, ball have this small ball in the middle. Yes. But the other one has a uh, has a small ball on the left on the on the on the uh, right. Okay, so you need it now. It's specially weighted. Yeah. You've yeah. weighted your balls so that your spare ball will actually curve. And I have a spare one, a red one. Wait, also. you got another spare ball. Yeah. It's a red ball. How does this ball go? Uh, this is this is also a strike ball. Strike ball. This wow. is the first. Uh, you know you you have two. Uh, you have two. If you don't uh, do every ten, ten pins in one yeah. uh, throw, yeah. you have the first uh, throw, and then I use my strike ball. And yeah. if I have pins left, then I use my spare ball. Yeah. Now, Dees, do you have any balls at all? Like spare balls. <laughs> 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 I just can't believe it. Oh, he's got pins, couple of pins. This is pins. I have, uh, have, I have won this in tournaments. Okay. So it's now, uh, now, do you practice on those at home? Oh no, 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 no. I pra I practice every Tuesday at the local bowling hall, and so yeah. like once a week. Wow. Um, I love it. And do you have special shoes? In two yes. colors, like red and blue colored shoes or anything like that? <laughs> Let's see. Hi, uh, Renee. We're doing bowling today. We're looking at bowling me. shoes. Oh, they've come a long way since I remember them. So your bowling shoes, Ivan, this is interesting. Them it's looks like just normal type runners type. Yeah, thing. it looked like sneakers. Like in the old days. They used to come in red and brown or blue and brown or red and blue, and they would be two-toned colors. I think so. people wouldn't steal them. They could be caught running out. Oh, is this your bowling uh, wrist support? So this you use uh, to yes. keep your uh, your hands steady, you know, yeah. like this. Yeah. And then you bob like a Big Lebowski. That's my one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that Big Lebowski movie. Look yeah. at you go. That's like metal. Yeah. That I would just wear that because it's cool to have. Like you're walking around. And I would take like these. I would smoke. If I was a smoker, I'd put my yeah. glove on. I'd have my smoke. And everybody go, oh, you're so cool with your smoke and your glove. You can and smoke go, with this, yeah. these two fingers. These two fingers. That is cool. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Okay. Yes, of course he's serious. You have to have all the equipment. Yes, I've, I've played in the league also. So we are in the, in the fourth division in Norway, but uh, okay. we just uh, we just changed bowling all. So the new place is not so good anymore. So uh -oh. we are, um, But before, I, I do it serious. Yeah. Even after. in the new place, is it because there's a bad crowd? Some like guys hang around the bowling alley and they're cool and they smoke and they're sitting out back. And they save and they root, yeah. And like one guy's got his cigarette back and his little shirt rolled up on his sleeve, and he goes, 
you're just a bunch of trolls, you know, like saying mean Norwegian thing that would hurt Norwegian people, and they're all tough. And they go, you are not a bowler, you're horrible, like stuff like that. Ra and Rachel, would be just, oh, Rachel in Norway, it's non-smoking, non-smoking at bowling what? alleys. Non yeah, well, these guys are bad. They're they're rule breakers. I'm trying to say, tell you, these are the bad people that are kind of intimidating, making your nice bowling alley all a bad place now. But you can drink there after eight o'clock. You can drink. Okay. You can uh, they serve alcohol after eight o'clock. Now, why not before eight o'clock? That's because the serious player training before eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> uh okay uh you have had clown fist is here we i i gotta give you a wrench uh this is melody our good buddy melody hang on melody i gotta give you a thing you're good man you got skills boom clown fist. melody yeah That's i'm stuck to him and everything was he good did you see that episode no, but like... i'm interested to see who we're talking about clown That's fist. clown fist as melody and he's, a, I remember he's, a, he's a guitar player and he played everything. We'd say, name a song, and he'd go, da -da 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 -da. Oh. and he's shredding on a acoustic guitar. That's really hard to do. Uh, Ivan, we got a question for you. Do you watch a Rail Cowgirl? Rail? I don't know what that is. I don't know either. It's that kind of thing. No. This, uh, this, uh, stuff here, this stuff here, I use to clean my balls. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to see that. I have no use for a product like this, but let's take a look. <laughs> this this is the kind of product that we use to clean uh -huh. the balls because, you know, in oh, the bubbling... Uh, it, yeah, K-Gel, K-Y-Gel, K-G-Gel, gel. gel, yeah. gel. Yeah. I can yeah. explain to you, uh, Rachel okay. and, and the VC, because in the bubbling alley, we have this lane, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and it's oil on the on the lane from the start but yeah. when you coming close to the pins yeah the, the the oil stops so when oh. you throw the balls the balls are gliding on the oil and when yeah. you hit the 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 the, 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 the place the has pin? no oil then the 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 ball start to rotate, rotate to the so. right or to the left it's okay. depending which ball you have okay so what have you anybody else had their balls glide? Uh, <laughs> and then uh, you hit the pins. Then you hit the yeah. pins. But apparently there's some an oil slick that they put in front of the pins so that the ball will start rotating away from you. It's a, it's different oil. Uh, uh, you can oil the the lane yeah. different. You can uh, it's uh, usually it's oil in the middle of the lane. So on the right and the left yeah. side of the lane only like this. It's no yeah. no oil. So if you if you have the ball and you you kick the ball outside the lane that is oil, yeah. then of course it start to rotate to the right or to the left. Okay. Because it get the uh, frictions. Yeah. Hold on, you're getting it, Matt. He's not telling you to oil your balls. The no. balls are not oiled. There's oil on the on the bowling lane. alley in the lane. lane. Yeah. As your ball gets close to making contact with its target. Yes. It can start to rotate almost wildly and out of control. This is where good go bowlers know how to stop that from happening. And I, I'm going to say a good advice for you guys who want to just have fun in the bowling yeah. alley to be a little better. You always use your uh, your tom. You hit, yeah. you have the ball and you do like this Hold with on. the tom. You, you, show, me you, your, show me how you work your ball. Yeah, do I can, can show you. I can show All you. All right. He's going to grab his ball and he's going to show you how to hold it. With the thumb. So you see here? Yeah. Let me see it. I see it. I love that one. That's you my favorite it. ball. Yeah. I so, just and and then when you when you hit it, you you have the take your time. You, with the Careful thumb, with the camera. Yeah. Woo! Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, we can and you, throw it, and you throw it with a thumb, and you uh, you don't looking don't yeah. look at the pins. Don't look at the pins when you throw the ball. Don't look at the pins. Just no. keep your eye on your ball. No, you gonna you gonna have a look at the small uh, markers on the lane. It's like oh. an arrow. Yeah, and it's one, two, three, four, and yeah. and four on the other side. So you you 
you try to hit the number three arrow from the right if you are right-handed. Okay, number three arrow from the right. And that guarantee, it's not a guarantee, but if you're on the mark, you're going to have a good chance of having a strike. To a strike, right? Yes. And you have your hands should be uh, very right. Not do like this, do, but like this. Like that. Long, long hand. And you and you don't uh, uh, you you release your ball when you are here, not here. Release not here. here if yeah. you put, if you got a ball. Yeah. Release it here, not here. Is what I'm being told. Yeah. Like golf, you know the golf swing. Yeah, but you don't. Uh, yeah, but that's a whole different. That's you know that's a whole. I have different uh, thing. Bronco Billy. I have three three balls. He's got three balls. It's very, very strange, but I have three balls and two. Well, yeah, because you got five have, balls. He's got a spare, and there are spares in bowling. Uh, short video idea soon, Rach, go bowling. That's not a bad idea. Have you try, try, tried bowling, Rachel? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm a good bowler. I had no idea about all the science that goes into it like you're showing with the, the fifth or the third arrow yeah. the little divot mm. a little mark the guider and then mm. there i didn't know there was an oil slick that you mm. had to fight in battle it's like a, a role-playing game when you're fighting monsters look out for the lava pit the big sea worm lives in the pit of fire uh, with your sword and you don't expect it and it's a whole new element of difficulty brought into the equation Ivan, why do they put oil in front of the pins like that? Why? Who came up with uh, that idea? You it's know? because you know it's because the friction. When the ball the ball hits the lane, then yeah. it's oil on the lane, and yeah. then it it uh, it's gly it it's gliding it what gliding gliding yeah. on the oil. And yeah. when the oil is stopping, then the ball uh, start to get frictions. Yeah, and then it start turn to the right or to the left yeah. or straight ahead. It's now, do you know how around. it's going to go? Can you twist your hand as you, when you yeah. go, can you kind of do a thing where you're going to go a little twist at the end? Yeah. So it'll kind of go. You 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 yeah. can that racial, you can that racial, but the best way is to have the hand straight and just release here. And yeah. then if you want to, to go to the right or left, you you have other balls. You change the balls yeah. because it's I say, I didn't even know my balls. Yeah, because you got weighted balls. Yeah. Now, listen, the guy's got weighted balls that allows him to go left or right. The other thing that I'm finding out is Russell knows a lot about this. He actually says there's a little ro rotation in the wrist. It'll glide straight until it hits the no oil section. Yes. Then yes. it's going to spin left or right. It's good for doing the splits. So you can do the splits with your balls? That is like crazy. <clears throat> Have you ever yeah. done the splits with your balls, uh, Ivan? I have done a lot of very cool, difficult throws with the yeah. with the with the with the splits like like this yeah, what, one. Or, and... or what about when they're on one on one side, one's on the other, and you got to hit it, and it shoots it across the head. Yeah, other. yeah. This is it is a very difficult square, but you try try yeah. to head it on one, and then it should put okay. like this. Okay. Now, it's, it's, well, let's. Like... I got new. I'm so proud to introduce this next guest. This next guest knows if anybody knows anything about balls, it's this guy. Balls to the wall all the time. It's the hey, uh, hey, of Ivan. Beach. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow, I'm uh -oh. gonna blow your mind, Ivan. Okay, here okay. we go. Look out. Have you ever heard of duck pin bowling? Yes, I sure have. Well, Rachel, your name's not Ivan, so she okay. Sorry, out. I got excited, Rob, because just even the bringing up of the topic is so well done. Have so you ever so heard of duck pin know. bowling? No, no, duck I don't uh, no. So, from what I understand, yes, so it's a version of bowling with We're talking ball duck pin. pins. It's a type of bowling, and the, no, the balls are about that. Balls big, so are probably hold. smaller than normal. Okay, okay, you call. We have that it, before. It started. Uh, it started. Rachel, 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 I don't hear uh, the wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just adding a commentary it's for him. It's not even golf. Yeah. Um, it it's started in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> it started in Baltimore, and I don't yeah. even know if it progressed anywhere outside of Baltimore. Mm. So mm. if you go look, they're duck pin bowling. It's I, like, I'm going to oh, have a look at that. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Well, <laughs> Thank you. That. That's fantastic. I did my best to change the subject, but it hey, and when I do bowling, I always drink this. Oh, now be careful with that. Oh, hold on. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't need that shit, man. You gotta That's be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, it's nothing that your energy level. Yeah, well, you can go off the charts with that stuff. Um, I, Rob, did you know that? There, did you know that there was an oil slick that they put in front of the pins on a bowling alley? Um, did you oil, even know it that sheen, it has a sheen to it? It's so. actual oil. It's an oil slick. They put mm. it on there. To it's make a machine, it up. machine who do it. Of How course. come there's not any residue on the balls? Okay, why is the residue? Oh, we they know told... why. You clean your balls because show them your clean your ball cleaning sauce that you showed us. Even watch this. We got ball cleaning sauce. That's why no residue here. Hey, uh, you have, clean your balls with this. Ra bro. Rachel, are you willy yeah. nilly and giving out wrenches again? Okay, whoa, what's happened? Who's clown fist? Clown Fist is Mellow D, our guitar player. Friend, oh, guitar. Oh. Hey, oh, he's got on. a couple of accounts, Rob. We, we don't have many rules around here, but come on, lowercase yeah. letters, man. Okay, I got a Bobby Gass impersonation after you. By the way, you have just beautiful balls. I got to tell you this. Look at that. Would you love to have a ball as beautiful as that, Rob? Look at that. You know what? Uh, I, I love that. Okay, Ivan. Yeah. I love that. I was afraid... To, that I love that ball. Bowling is like quintessential American. Like, okay, how did it reach your? How did it reach? Uh, how did it reach oh, Norway? Why did Norway get involved with bowling? Have you heard about the big Lebowski? Yeah, it yeah. started then in bowling. Uh, I bowling has started in Norway, but of course it started first in America. But I, I think they started in the late seventies, beginning uh -huh. of the eighties. But. I start bubbling maybe at early 2000s. So I Show, you know what? You, you're showing off your ball. The best thing about bowling, Rachel, do you know the Go one ahead. best thing about bowling? Yeah, obviously. What? It's after eight o'clock. We all go to the bar in no. the bowling yes. alley. No, the actually, bowl, they drink all through the lanes. It's no, the shoes. You're it's not the in shoes, man. No, it's the shoes. Show us your bowling shoes. Yeah, we talked about the shoes already. We've already covered this. But Rachel, I don't pay attention to the shoes. But show the technology is way different now, Rob. But those Look aren't those. good. Those aren't good bowling shoes. Those are perfect bowling shoes. It's new technology. You're thinking of the old red and brown or red and blue. With the funny soles. With the funny this way they professional. Look. This is they, the professional bowling shoes because it's like a sneakers. You see, it's yeah. air in here and everything. So it's not not like the the. It's the, way different in new technology, Rob. This is professional. No, uh, I, it's I, professional I level. Rachel, you need to mismatch suede, different colors. Yes. I don't Hi, Glenn. That That's for kids. That's for kids, Rob. Glenn. Drunk people. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I it's just so exciting. I now I'm going to Dees. I'm so glad you're back. I'm going to go off camera to show you the big book I have on bowling that I want even to see my bowling book. Now, Okay, That's I'll just be thing. right back after my bowling. Get my bowling book, fellas. Do There's that. three okay. levels of people who go who inhabit bowling alleys. There's people that have given up on life, and they're usually in the bar area. <laughs> and there's um, women who are way past their prime. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the third one. Careful. Then they're they're out of shape guys who think they're in shape just because they could throw a ball down the lane. No, no, bowling is a professional uh, stuff. You can be very good. You can do. You can earn a lot of money uh, in professional. Uh, okay, uh, when Rachel comes back, we can go. Okay, do you know who Earl Anthony is? No, I'm he's probably sure, the most. He's like, uh, I'm gonna say sports references that are strictly American, but. Like Babe Ruth, you've heard of Babe Ruth. He was famous. Yeah, I've baseball. heard about him. Baseball. Yeah, Earl Anthony is like the Babe Ruth of bowling. Okay. He's the most famous bowler there ever was. Am I? Does anyone know Earl Anthony? Uh, I'm gonna pull up a picture of him. Here he is. So you tell me, okay, this guy is the most famous bowler of all time, but there's no way in hell you would pick this guy out of a lineup that he's a famous athlete. Look at that guy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he looks but, like he's in the vinyl community. Did you ever, did you ever yeah. hear of Earl Anthony? No, I've not heard about him. Oh wow, he guy. passed away very he's, young. He's Rob, he's was he a drinker? No, because... but he was—he was like the—he is the most famous bowler of all time. 
Even you're going to be so proud of me because I bought this book for because it teaches us about bowling. Happy birthday, by the way, Dees. Uh, Rob, Dees is you. 21 years old today. Happy birthday. Dees. Are you sure, Dees? Are you birthday today? No. Yes. Yeah, and no. so is Chauncey's happy, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dees. Can you get a thing for doing a singing a song about Dees? Like a happy birthday greeting, Rob. You know how you do and those. Chauncey. And no. Chauncey, maybe do them both. Uh -huh. Twins, do something here's, for twins. Here, here's the problem. Okay, go ahead. In that repertoire of names that they do in these uh, yeah. that birthday thing, there's no Dees. Okay, Dees, if you yeah, would like a, a Dees, would you name. okay with Denise? I'm sure there's a Denise. Denise, a, Denise, yeah. Let's do Denise. <laughs> now, while Rob's doing that, I'm going to show Yvonne, this is for you, my big book on uh, bowling that I got. It's the golden book. Boats to serious so bowling BOW comes in after that. Look at that artwork. There's no bowling ball, which is kind of disappointing on the thing. But I'm gonna open this up for you. Look at this. Look at that. Teaches the science of it. Well, Rachel, is that like the um Darwin chart of human existence? Yeah, there you <laughs> have it. Yeah. What do you think about that? But he should have the arm should be higher up before he uh, released. Before the, the release, he's crouching yeah. low. These hold on, I got something to tell you. Full disclosure, this is how they bowled in the fifties. Yeah, so because it's old school. Old school. It's old school, old school bowling. bowling style. Yeah. Now they've changed the technique, maybe to go higher to release. Yeah, and I can I can also explain you, uh, Rachel. It's w one new uh, one new thing that I don't do. Yeah. You see the balls, my ball here. You see it? Oh, hold on. Sorry, I gotta look at your balls. Yeah, go ahead. You see, it has uh, three holes for the fingers. Yes. But the new kind of bowling, uh, the new kids, they are playing with only one hole, only the the big. What? Hole. Why? So they, they have it, we call it one one, uh, <laughs> and they have the finger like this without in yeah. not here, and they 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 rotate it like this, very much oh. rotate. So it uh, that's that looks very very nice, but it's a little bit difficult. But that's is it cheating? Is it cheating to do that to you? No, it's, not, it's not it's not cheating, but you must do it yeah. a, 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 another way if you want to play like yeah. that. And listen, it, yeah, listen, it's the origins of bowling because in the primitive times of the 1950s, they did not have the technology to do it properly. Okay, it was different. Hey, Dees, how old are you today? 21. Uh, 21. 21. The entire weight is on one finger. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, hey, uh, Rachel, I think yes, after Rob. today it'll go down that bowling might not be a good subject matter for this okay. show. Okay, well, we're just talking about it. It's a great sport. And we're learning from Yvonne. Yvonne taught us all about bowling. And I thank you so much, Yvonne, for teaching us about how to bowl on Deez's birthday. We have all things. It's incredible. And Chauncey. And Chauncey, Chauncey yeah. birthday to Chauncey birthday yeah. boy. I think so, we should play Dolce Vita with Ryan Adams to uh, Deez to yeah. honor his birthday. Yeah. That's my one of my yeah. favorite uh, Italian disco songs. And I know Deez love it too. I am a big fan, yeah. Mm. Uh, Kingpin is the best movie. The greatest bowling movie, ball movie ever is Kingpin. No, 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 Big no, Lebowski. No. Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski the, bowling. Didn't they bowl in the Flintstones movie too? Fred and yeah. Barney were big bowlers and with the Royal Order at the Water Buffalo. A lot of them guys could bowl good. And didn't Art Carney, uh, did he bowl with Jackie Gleason, Honeymooners, Rob? Just asking. Bowling is a uh, JB. Bowling is a sport, but you can also do it for fun, also. But bowling is a sport. It's professional yeah. bowling players in 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 uh, Norway and yeah. Sweden is very good in bowling too. They have a lot of yeah. good players. Yeah. Now in Israel, is there bowling? Do you have uh, the same sport there? There are bowling holes, but there's not a big culture. Only a few teams. Yes. What is, is, they aren't good at it, probably. Is they trying to make it an Olympic sport? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't. I don't think it's an Olympic sport. I don't think so. They, I think they could have done like a, somebody could have made a demonstration. Have you heard about this final community? In your Olympics, you can have what's called a demonstration sport. So one of the demonstration sports Canada did, uh, it, it never caught on, but sometimes they do. 
It's a game that's like Pinocchio or something where you have a little ball on a pendulum and you have your little thing and you have your beer and it knocks over the things. It's like bowling, but it's in a done in a pub. And the folks is amazingly have, have a drink or two or five. And it swings on a ball and it knocks everything over. It's funny as hell. Ringo did it in our day's night, if you recall. Rob, did you ever play that game? I stopped listening to you five minutes ago. Right? Bar bowling. Bar bowling. Yeah, and don't forget, Laverne and Shirley were also great bowlers. Yes, they were. And don't forget, the, in the good old times in America, yeah. a lot of yeah. good bands was playing in the bowling alley. They have yeah. a live music in the bowling alley. It was a lot of rockabilly and rock and roll, and a lot of good yeah. bands was performing in the bowling alley. Yeah, it's everybody played bowling alley, but now we move on to a birthday treat celebration. This is for you, Dees, and Chauncey in, you know, we're thinking of Chauncey. But here it is. Let's see how we get on. At first I was afraid. I felt so adrift when I heard it was your birthday and I had no gift. Then genius struck. I grabbed a pen. It didn't take me long to make a check out to my lyricist to write this heartfelt song. A cake is fine. And ice cream's great. But your 21st birthday calls from Marty on a plate. What's gonna put your name in lights? Don't think it fills up the marquee. But I'm afraid it's in my contract that top billing goes to me. Looks great, Dante. <laughs> ah, me. Come on now. Oh. Ah. You made a wish now, and may your wishing make it so. I can't give up birthday spankings, and I don't mean to be a Grinch, but I'd be canceled in a heartbeat for a pinch to grow an inch. So cheers to you, Dante. your birthday's here. Dante. Now just get stuck, cause I would bet you're for a totally decent year, I must say. I'll send all my showbiz <laughs> love to you, the one I'm most proud of. Is that a cheer? can be more clear your birthday's here happy birthday dante yes please dante wow this wow oh, oh one Rob, more champagne i am that's uh, on dante's tab oh dante will <laughs> pay for it <laughs> thank you very much thank, thank you, you. Uh, that was incredible wow yeah. is this the birth best what he ryan in paris what's this happy birthday Dees. what's uh, this now well that's that's our favorite uh you know 80s italo disco record synthesizer uh, yes uh european yes. disco yes that's is it good to yes Dolce Vita, that's yeah. one, me and uh, me and uh, I like you it. You probably it's know Italian the song. Disco. You probably know Italian the song. Mm. Yeah. Is that good bowling music? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Dante Dees, did you love your birthday song for you on your 21st I birthday? It. I love that Rob uh, made it for me. That Thank really... you, Rob, so much for yeah, your You're time. welcome, Dante. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Um. Oh my God, that was good. And did you see where he threw in a, a Grimly? I must say yeah. that was so. That was one of my favorite parts. You know, Rachel. I think he's one of the funniest people. And I actually saw yeah. his. He did a one man show on Broadway. Yes, it's pretty good. The Queen Haters with Martin Short Punk Band. Oh, did the fun. best skit they ever did on Saturday Night Live. I mean, on SCTV. Yes, they did a thing called the battle. You know, remember the battle of the network stars, Rachel? Yeah, remember? when they had Carl Sagan, yeah, and no, they had it was the battle. It was the battle of the PBS stars. Yes, and it was uh, Fr Martin Short was Mister Rogers. Yeah, Mister Rogers, Julia Child, John Candy. Julia Child by John Candy. It's on was, YouTube. You can see that. Yeah, that was the funniest thing. And oh, and also Dick, uh, Dick Cavett. Uh, Rick Moranis doing Dick Cavett to do the thing. I think, you know, he's doing all the uh, Zudo intellectual kind of take on it all. Uh, Jackie Rogers Jr., his best character. Well, there, there's a, um, 
a special Martin Short did for Showtime. Oh, called, uh, that. that one is funny. Yeah. Is there any way you could do a, a Chauncey one? You might, you're paying for this thing. You might as well get your money out of it. Let's see All if right. there's a Chauncey birthday grading. Chauncey, we're going the extra mile for you today, even though it's these the superstar who's on TV on the hey. television show. But you're in the mm -hmm. peanut gallery. Uh, please continue to enjoy your peanuts, peanut gallery, and don't hesitate to throw them at us. We're well accustomed to it uh, here on the show. We got 121 watch, and we're breaking the internet today. Uh, if you give us a thumbs up, it helps us. We look for 50 each day, 50 thumbs up. And uh, if we can do that, I know my, uh, my uh, summer is complete every time that happens. We got 34 thumbs up right now. So just a couple more. Oh, Vinyl Community, that would be incredible. I would just love that if we could do that. Anyway, we, you know, we hope for good things, you know. Let's All get right, Rachel, Rachel, there is no Chauncey, but I'll have to okay. come as close as I can. Okay, be as, be as creative because you're able to pull these things out of your hat. Jiminy Glick is incredible, I must say. No, Jiminy Glick is great. How do you... You know, interviews. Uh, okay. I had to pick an age for Chauncey. Chauncey, don't go to work because we're going to do your birthday song coming up now. Well, you can watch the show later. You come back, you go to work, and when you come home from work, you're going to have a birthday card that's going to be on the TV show for you to look at. So anyway, I think things are going really good on today's show. We've covered bowling, and look oh, at this. Horrible. Wham. Wake me up before you go go 12 inch single. Incredible. Yes. Look at her makeup, it's gorgeous. They are releasing all the wham records now. They they so it's coming out now on vinyl on new new um versions. Yes, mm. yes. I did Rex. I did it occasionally. I would do a Jiminy click. How do you and then I, you know, and it'd go. I, you have to be in the right mood for it. Okay, now, Yvonne, so all, how many Wham records are there? Uh, four, isn't it? There I have are everything. four I'm Wham sure. records that you can get in your collection. You know, the one I had was that one with Go Go, the one with Go Go on it. Wake me yeah, up. Wake me up before you Go Go. Yeah. But it was, what would they call that one? Wham, what, there was a name on it. Hi, yeah, Fluffy. Yeah. Hi, Fluffy. Welcome to the show. It was called Fantastic. That was in 83. That then was the big it, album. was Make It, Make It Big in 84. Yeah. And Music from the Edge of Heaven in 86. Okay, so Make three, It three. Big. I think Make It Big is the one with the Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, right? Make It Big. Yeah, yeah Make It Big is Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. big pink yeah. wham, like it was like a purpley pink. Wham on the cover it goes wham, but it's pink, and the boys were in their little shorts and everything. Yeah, even young, gun, young guns go for it, and bad boys yes. was the two number one hit they have. For the yeah, but then when they go, Wake me up before you go, go, don't yeah. leave me lying around like a yo yo. Yeah, that was so good. And of course, they have the number one Christmas song that I always play Last Christmas from '84. Yeah. Folks, we got an incredible merch store filled with amazing items that you can have of Rachel's Ghost TV show. Our newest item is going to be added later today. It's going to be the Dursies, there's Dursies, Dur Duart uh, watch cup that you can drink coffee out of with Dees on it. So it's go we expect it to sell quite well for us. I hope. I'm. I think it will. Yvonne, have you ever wanted to uh, have uh, uh, yourself on merchandise on Rachel's Ghost merch? I have my own cup here. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. You know what? I think you should have a cup with, like, can you hold it? I'm going to do one with you for our show. Hold your beautiful bowling ball, your spare ball, and I'll take a picture of you with it for the show. Okay? Like on a cup, and I'll sell this cup. Okay, uh, no, put your cup down. Well, no, keep your cup going. That's okay. You can have your cup because I can do something with that. Big smile. Look right at the camera. Hold it and hold. Okay, what? You're okay. Well, hold on. Maybe this will actually work. Okay, hold it. Well, hold it. Yeah, but it's mysterious. It's it's coy. He's playing coy. Yeah. 
Okay. There. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Ivan. Great it, shot. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'm so sorry. But the what's happened here, I got a great picture. And uh, we'll make merch of this. Ivan bowling ball, bowling ball cup. Ball dot JPG. And that'll be merch. So people, you He's can get the bowling ball. you can get your own. Yeah, you don't have to hold it now. <laughs> wow, that ball looks like it could be a planet. That's right. He's got an incredible. He's got three balls that he showed us, all of them. Hold on. Yeah. Yvonne, you got a, a bowling shirt, like a good gaudy bowling oh, shirt. Have you got a great bowling shirt that you wear? Yeah, I have that, but uh, it's it's only black, so it's not so fantastic. It's a, it's black. a casual one. It's not. Casual he's black. going for a mean dark look. So if people want to sub me, I just uh, hit the link in the in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry, Ivan. I, that's my fault. I haven't been promoting it properly. I have, a goal, I have a goal to reach 1,000 subscribers in this year. So that's my okay. goal. Okay, we have a goal. Now, have you thought about doing a contest for the children? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, look, at, here's the link. He's already put it. I'm going to do a uh, show you what it looks like so you can get over there. Look at this. Okay, there's Ivan. Look at that speaker he's got. Beautiful. Oh. High wave sound file he's got. Wave. Turntable. He's got looks like he's got everything you need. I have three techniques turntable. Two and red look ones at the and one black. Red one. Mm. Two red ones and one black. Pretty. Uh make sure you subscribe. Don't hit the bell because Ivan will bother you. Bob Marley, now at the moose, I should I take the plastic off my UHQR Exodus? This is a question for you, vinyl community. I've not played it yet. I just and look what's off. happened. So far, GDI in a mini tour, Harstead, <laughs> right here, live mini tour. Uh, best sounds of 23 on vinyl part one. Peter Gabriel, look at even wearing a shirt that I approve of. I love this shirt. That yeah. is so good. So, folks, this is Yvonne's show. Singer, songwriter, no way, Norwegian artist, girl. Beatles and Mono, that was a big one. I saw that. Lost in Tango, Bob Marley, Peter Gabriel. But classic music, all sorts of stuff going on. Even show shorts. Look what's happening, Vinyl Community. He's even gone to a record store shop. Yes. Okay. Animals, a remix thing done, even talk. So I'll try to make more videos now. Maybe he's doing good. Want. Please subscribe to Ivan. Okay, this is what I want. Please. Let's look at what he's got. He's got 782. Can we get him to 80? Can we get 800 subs for Ivan? Wouldn't that be the best? We could do it now. Yeah. Yes, and this, this one this one is a brand new record i want to only, want, we, want to make a review of this uh, later yeah. this week yeah. Ivan, you only need 12 more subscribers can we get 12 subscribers or even that would make him 800 subscribers for him that would please let's be part of the family let's refresh Ivan, you're 790 we got two subs oh. 10 more just 10 to go rob have you done this have you subscribed to Ivan? please Rob, subscribe to Ivan. <laughs> Rob, subscribe to Ivan. Marco Sabing, thank you. I think I'm already subscribed, Rachel. I hope okay, so, well, Rob. I, I hope, hope so, so, Rob. Look yeah, I'm already, Ivan. Rachel, listen, Rachel, I'm already yeah. subscribed. All right, thank you for that, Rob. Well, I, are you thanking thank me for you. something I did a long time ago? Uh, yes, I am. I'm thanking you. I'm so happy you did it. And tomorrow, the new Amy Winehouse movie is out in the theater. Yeah. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, I've seen reviews already. It's oh, no, bad. what's happened? Is it bad reviews? Double? Yeah, oh, bad no. reviews. Bad? Oh, that's not I mean, bad. I watched the trailer. It looked like oh, it was a no, bad. it's bad. It's bad reviews. It's bad reviews. Bad reviews. I'm going to review this album also on my channel. Yeah, it's you're going to get reviews. You know, Ivan, you might get more subscribers if you decided that you might want to rank 
a couple of things? No, I'm not direct. We have one you ranking. Be a he's ranker. in UK. He's in UK. Yeah, that's true. Okay, it's time to wish Chauncey a happy birthday with a celebrity guest, Texas Moon Valbum. Hang on to that. We're going to go right now. A special presentation. More birthday surprises. This is for you, Chanchi. Mm. Oh, hey, Chelsea. How you doing? Al here. Listen, um, I, I know you're super busy. You got a lot going on. Uh, I, I really hate to bother you, but, um, well, there, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, and I'm afraid it just can't wait any longer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chelsea. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Hey, it's your birthday. Gotta be your birthday. You know what I was told? You're 39 years old. It's your birthday. Oh, yeah. It's Chelsea's birthday. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> that is great. I love the uh, yeah. I love the shirt. Like that yeah. shirt that sparkled and glowed. That was one of the yeah. best one I've seen. Very, very good. That was very good, Rob. Thank you very so much. Good. Chauncey, happy birthday, fella. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I, I think this is the best episode ever. Rob, earlier in the show. Looks like he really did leave. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Uh, Rob, earlier in the show, we had some real drama. Really, that's unusual for this place. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and the uh, source, and the source, right? Okay, Ivan. Ivan broke the story. <laughs> he broke a horrible story. James is moving out. What are, What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's moving out ever since the puppet turned on his mom. Wait, wait. Where is he moving to? We don't know. That's part of the mystery. There's no way he's moving now, Rachel. Come on. Okay. Ivan said, okay, Ivan, can you repeat? Is he moving out or not? <clears throat> he's moving out. And I got that news from Mr. Mayo's stream today, just before yes. Rachel started. Yes. And that's the truth. He's moving yeah. out from he's his house. moving out. Okay. Now, Rob, you were with me when the infamous mailbox uh, episode occurred. James went out on his own to do the mailbox. It wasn't without its hitches. There, there were some struggles. It required okay. actually a return trip, if I recall correctly. And uh, <laughs> it's just horrible. So I was very concerned, Rob, when I heard about this. Okay. Uh, immediate reaction. Survival becomes a question. Oh, hold on, Rachel. I don't believe that he's moving out. There's no possible way. And okay. unless he's. Unless he's moving in with his sister, the sister. Well, there's no way she's going to allow that. There's where there's where's the remember that what was that guy's name? Muktash, Paktard. What was his name? Paktar. Rob, this is serious news. No, he's no, no. Out. He, he's moving out. No, I don't believe it. I don't. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> All right. So here's what's going on. Okay. He's moving out with his mom. They're just moving the house, but Yvon here, Mr. Yeah. Bright Spark above me here, he goes, oh, Rachel, James is moving. He's moving out of his house. I'm like, what? And so then I was under the, I thought he'd be like moving on his own or something. I said, How, how's he going to do his bill, his rent, his utilities, getting groceries for the love of God? I've never because seen Rachel so excited before. Well, never I was worried. So I was absolutely worried. I couldn't believe it was even possible. <laughs> Rob, you had the right answer. A caution. Right away, I went, what? This is it. Oh, hold on, Ray. Ra yeah. Rachel. Anyone who spent over 10 yeah. minutes with James understands yeah. 
it can't happen, right? There's no well, way. I mean, even that. his self survival mechanism he, in, in his body yeah. will not allow him to live by himself. And so, like, you know oh, that. it's weird. So, like, he'd be trying to leave the house yeah. and then his foot wouldn't move. Like, he'd be stuck, kind of going, I can't, like, he could have his little Paul with a little knapsack, the red polka dot, white polka dot, really red knapsack. And, and he's said, trying to go and he can't, mm, it just mm. won't allow him. And Rachel, you must remember that Rob is the smart guy on this uh, stream. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you won't yeah. take my advice to give up bowling. Please understand that. All right. Well, there you go. But I was serious. You're you are very you, you think very fast, Rob. Mm. Well, well, what do you think about a compliment like that? I can't come to any. I can't think of anything to say, Rachel. Wow. Uh, uh, yes, yes. But like I'm sorry, yeah, it's not happening, Bill. Is the puppet moving? No. Well, this is where it got it. He's moving it with AGK, and they're starting a new business uh -huh. called Jimmy and Tony's Model. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be and had, had small puppies in, in front of them. Small puppies in the front of them. Oh my God. Uh, okay. In terms of smart people on this stream, the bar is set pretty low. <laughs> Yes, it's true. Uh oh, oh, one of us is making a, a sound. I don't know. Was that you, Ivan, making a sound? I'm, I'm not sure. It's not. It's not my pacemaker. It's not my pacemaker. Okay. This did All you right. go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you make a it's sound? On my phone. I had a um, vibration in the phone. Oh, that oh. would do. That's what we're picking up, isn't it, Vinyl Community? She is giving me vibration. I'm picking up. Hey, give us an update on Malachi. I always miss Malachi. Can you phone him? Tell him to be on TV show for Rachel. Uh, I just wrote him a message. We are meeting, meeting uh, going to a restaurant with other friends. Oh, I, I like a gang? Yeah. What, what, yeah type of food, what type of food? A hamburger. Mm. I love hamburgers. Now, as Jewish people, can you and Rob have hamburgers? I know Yvonne and I can eat hamburgers till well, the cows come home. Pardon the pun, but you kids, you are you're with your kosher diets. Everything could be you could be severely limited in how many cows you can consume. Well, right. well what? Right. What is the cow kosher burger? Uh, Rachel, I'm not kosher. We can have you burgers. You said you were kosher and everything. You got I've never, it it's never came out of. I've always said I'm a cultural Jew. I'm not religious. Come on. Uh, do you, does that hurt your feelings? Like it hurts mine. Like because I want Rob to be more Jewy. No. Like no, you. Like you're a really good Jew, but Rob is like he's a good Jew, but he's not that strong a Jew. I think that's the issue. He's a good Jew. He's just not that strong a Jew. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, Rob, admit it. Like, you're this cultural business. As long as you're not a self-hating Jew, I respect you. I'm, listen, I hate myself for a lot of reasons. One being <laughs> yeah. that I'm on the stream every day. Yes. Not because of who I am. Yes. He has to deal with his own struggles. But uh, now you've come to accept yourself. Dollar Tree Jew. What? Yeah, this is from Chance. He's attacking. Well, hold on, Night uh -oh. Ray, uh, Chance. You're Chance. allowed to read. You're allowed to read your you comments read before comments you post them. Um, yes, you know that, that, we, Rob's that, mentioned that, that, that before. That is the Jewish trope. Oh God. Okay, Rob, have oh. you got this album? I have no Curtis Blow album. Okay, sure. I love the blow. I'll tell you that much right now. Look these at these are the breaks. Yeah, these are the breaks. Okay. Let's all sing it as because it's cool when we all do it. Mm. Rob, you try too. These are the breaks. breaks. These yeah. are, are the breaks. The break. these, these are the breaks. The break. All right. Uh, yeah, Rachel, there's nothing worse than white people trying to re you know, do Yeah. That. All right, Richard. Look at that. Right. That uh, is Richard. look yeah. at that. He is built. Very yeah, handsome. Very handsome. It's like these uh these whatchamacallit, these uh rappers. A lot of them seem to be in really good condition. Are they bowlers, Ivan? To bring it full circle back to our bowling. Do you think they bowl in order to keep in physical shape they are? 
I took I think they hanging out very close to the wax, the rub, and pushing this uh, at on, 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 the, yeah, beach. on the beach. Yes. Mm. And they use all the oil from the bubbling alley and take it on the body. Man, you people live in a very dis distinct, <laughs> defined fantasy world. We live in a very <laughs> refined space. Only song by Curtis Blow I remember is If I Ruled the World. Hey, uh, Ivan, Ivan. Crush Groove. Are you a, yeah, are you a fan of Crush Groove? Yeah, I have that movie, both on, on I have it on. There, uh, do you have all three, the trifecta of all the hip hop movies that came out of uh, the same Did time? you test for any of those? Uh, Beat Street, the uh, the break, break, Breaking, and, and this one, I think. No, there's, there's also Rapping. Did yeah, you I, I have that also. I have that also. I have the, the, the soundtrack. Yeah, I have the soundtrack also. Rob, Bill K has a comment for you. My package is right here, Bill K. <laughs> Okay, this is also, yesterday we touched upon probably the biggest story in the vinyl community other than the James moving out, but it, that turned out to be a no story. Because he's just going with his mom to a different house. It's no big deal. Now, hold on. Uh, the know. real story is the Madam Sin attacking on a Davy Strange name commentary uh, the incredible Stone Rock Confusion, our friend Stanty. And Stunty, like, I don't know. I think Harry started it, the rumor mill, that Stunty doesn't have a, a record plant, but he does, okay? He did. We got pictures. Stunty walked there and did it. He was there. He even had a puck, okay? Stunty had a, he showed us a puck and squished it himself live on the camera. And he's also listed on the thing. Uh I'm going to go to the smartest person on our panel for this one. Dave has a question, Rob. Could you take this on? No, I don't think he has. I think he has lots of fears, but I don't think he has the fear to go outside. Yeah. You know? He, I think the problem with James is he does whatever the disability of not knowing directions. I think that's what James's problem is. Yeah, it's more like direction south, north, east, and west. Any point on the compass can be a challenge, and uh, it can be problematic. But right now, we're talking about Stendi and Madam Sin. Madam Sin, highly regarded, legendary figure in the vinyl community, huge cachet point. Now, yeah, uh, go ahead. He, he went dark a while ago, and the best his best quality is his frankness right yes but um i i don't understand because i don't i i only feel like sim would say something if he feels someone's attacking him did stunty ever do anything to him uh i don't know things are it's everything seems weird with sin right now i gotta tell you he left a comment on my stream saying oh it was disingenuous to say that he doesn't come around here uh, because he was um, blocked by me. But I never blocked him. First of all, he never did anything bad. So normally you have to act like a pike for me to block you. Well, and he never right. acted any bad ever. I, I've never thought he was a bad dude. He never did anything He's bad. Not. He's not bad. That's the whole if thing. If anything, people didn't like his, ex his um, eccentricness. Yeah, I but we liked it. Yeah, him. but we liked his eccentricness. Yeah, he's a, he. I thought he was a good guy. I rarely, I rarely block. Now it could be his account got blocked, but that doesn't make sense either, and nothing makes sense in this whole thing. And for him to attack Stendi, and they, I always thought they were friends, and so Stendi was in here briefly yesterday. And I called on Stan, Stanley, come and tell me what's going on. You know, like, is there a falling out with you and Sin? Stanley didn't come back on. Maybe he had left and popped in for a little bit and went out. So we're trying to get the bottom of the story. But uh, in answer to Loki's question, that's what's, uh, that's what's going on with this situation. Um, Rachel, Rachel, did you hear any more of the two unfolding drama? So that's the big one in my book because what's we. The, uh, what's the and, other drama? And I reached out to Sin in the comment because there was a little conversation. I think the James moving out, I'm not sure. Oh, the Rob Walker drama. 
Oh, uh, yeah. What did that turn out to be? Okay. I, it's a well-known kind of uh, thing that we can't talk about, but we all know what it is. Wait, can you, type, no, can you no. type it in the private chat and help me? Uh, I'll, I'll message you. Okay. okay. It's that surprise. It's sublime. Okay. Got it. I'm, I'm about to get a message. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Hang on. Are you okay, Sue? She's just singing a song. Oh, oh no. Rachel, oh. now now I'm getting a purview of what you have to experience off the air. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm messaging Rob. And this is all on the DL, right? Okay. Hey, wait. Chance says there's another rumor floating around. Chance, do it. Is, is there a rumor out that O.J. Simpson's dead? Uh-oh. Rob, have you watched Poor Things? I haven't watched it yet, no. Okay. Are you... Are you, are you I watched it, yeah. yeah. I want to... There's lots of new shows... That I want that are up that I want to watch that uh, sugar show where Colin uh, what's his face is a de like a detective. Have you seen that? No, no. All right, Rob. There's a message. Okay. All right. Now, um, okay. So what's what else is going? On? Are you able to discuss the Rob Walker issue if Brad Teal makes a sizable donation to your Patreon? Yeah, it would have to be. Uh, we need money first, you know. Uh, Rachel, what you just sent me is like, well, who cares? Yeah, I know, but that's uh, that's what the story was. It broke because Rob came in, Rob Walker came in, very excited, very you know animated about all this stuff. Oh, TMZ, OJ Simpson has passed from Ooh. cancer. Is this a true story, Rob? Uh, let's go. You you know you okay, can say what you fine. want. You can say what you want about TMZ. Yeah, but they're There's usually the right. First. TMZ is the very best with uh, like news like that. Yeah, they're usually correct. So, someone check on Kato Caitlin. So OJ's past. What are the most tragic, sad stories in Hollywood history, in my opinion, Rob? Let's all reflect back 1994, uh, the year of the white Ford Bronco. All of us remember breaking news CNN. We all watched it back then. Even I watched CNN back in those days. And the the Bronco going very slowly with the fleet of cars chasing them. It was like yesterday. Um, uh, other, okay, other, hold other, on, Rex. Let's not be like that. I want to talk about this. Poor uh, guy. Other news outlets are reporting it too, Rachel. Yeah, he's gone. Bless him. But Here's I didn't know he had cancer. Okay. Well, I didn't know he was sick, but here's the deal. Yes, the guy for Naked Gun. He's a Buffalo Bill uh, receiver. He's a, he was a running back, Rachel. He was a running back. He went to USC. The, he went to USC. Trojan. He won the Heisman Trophy. He won the Heisman. They won the Heisman. He's done it all. And he was in the Naked Gun movies. He was so funny. And he murdered his wife. Well, yeah, okay. hold, hold on. Okay, but I hold actually... On. I lived in Brentwood during the time yeah. of the Bronco chase. And in fact, yes. Were we you attacked out... yourself? No, we ran okay. outside. Yes. We were watching it on TV. We ran outside yeah. and the we saw the helicopters fly overhead. So I was, he was guilty. The... Okay. I know he's guilty. We all know he's guilty. What I'm trying to tell you, if the glove don't fit, you got to go. No, what I, we all know that what I'm trying to tell you, vinyl community, as I think it's possible, poor old Jay, could have had brain damage from his footballing, okay? So I think is you know, because they've got that condition where your brain turns to sponge because you've been bashed about by, you know, 250-pound, you know, uh, guardsmen, right? You know, you hear what I'm saying? So I, I have compassion on the guy because I think he may have been seriously brain damaged. And that could have caused him to be emotionally unstable. What do you think, Rob? Possible? Uh, well, considering there wasn't really any documentation of him acting irrational. Yeah. And 
other than the um he did do that thing in Vegas which threw him in jail, right? Yeah. Where he tried to steal back his memorabilia. Oh yeah, that was uh, yeah, the Las Vegas. That wasn't a very smart thing to do. That was a dumb move. Yeah. So I think so I think they should do an autopsy on him and and uh, examine the brain. I really think they should do that. It's not an excuse. It doesn't say Oh, you get off. There are consequences for all our behavior. I acknowledge that, but I think we could. It's so easy to disregard. I think we need to have compassion. Well, yeah, but, right, but that, Rachel, that would be yeah. some if there was documented incidents. Well, I just say they should do an autopsy on the guy's brain. Well, well maybe they will. It's yeah, the like you, you want to hate the sin, but you don't hate the sin, is what Jesus said. Fact. Yeah, that's a good point, point. and that's kind of what I'm saying. Like the. Uh, I always have mercy on every situation. It was horrible. I mean, the murder was horrific. It was a horrible, horrible incident. And yeah, I believe he's guilty. Like, I think he did it, right? Okay. Rick Beato's death, it was started by Jose, and it's a thing. No, Rick Beato's not dead. That's just a Jose one-lining joke. Yeah, it's a joke that I never thought was funny. Was funny in the first place. Yeah. Exactly right. All right, let's go look at this. We got the kids from Norske Enter. Yeah, hold on, Rachel. Yeah. I think they should do an autopsy on all those guys. Okay, yeah. well, look at the hair. is just questionable. Admit this, it. Uh, this is a record from a group called The Kids. And Norske yeah. Enter means Norwegian girls. Yes. And uh, this uh, was a very big, uh, big, uh, huge hit in uh, 1980. Yeah. And, and, uh, I... and the song was... Uh, She's in love with the teacher. Who now for elskar lærer, and it was very popular in Sweden too, also. So this, not was, this was in eighty, yeah. and this was uh, this is from eighty one. No, I have a oh, question. Ivan, we got trouble in Norway. Zebe. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Hold it, this is Zeb, it's amazing. From it, the hold on. First of all, Zeb, it's amazing. You could type with one of your thumbs up your record. Yes, yes. But. Uh, Ivan, there's a question I have for you. To have a hit song in Norway, yes. do you have to sell more than five copies? <laughs> what's the What's the number? I think you should sell one million. I think. I think it's there's one million. There's enough people there to buy one million copies of that yeah, album. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Maybe Seb knows it, but uh, but this was a very very popular group, and I was in the fan club, and he he dyed his head uh, hair, uh, uh, you see, very blonde. Yeah. Yes. So the kids, uh, and it was a very big hit in Sweden. She's in love with the teacher. Hun har frelskar i lærer i Norwegian. Now, do the Norwegian people, do they have a lot of blonde hair like the Sweden people have a blonde hair? The girls, maybe. The boys, no blonde hair boys since in Norwegian? Uh, yeah, no, well, Rachel, it's... now this is a subject I would be interested in. Okay, well, out we're... Of all the, we're out of all the Nordic countries, who has the hottest Who's hair? the most blonde? No, the in the chair. in the oh, old days, they chair. told us the Swedish girl was very blonde and very nice. Yeah. So it's it's depend, but I think uh, it's nice girls in Scandinavia because they are healthy. They don't they yeah. do exercise and they don't uh, eat these big fatty greasy hamburgers. And, yes. So, so a word of warning, Dees. Yeah. Dees, be careful with your fatty greasy hamburger. You can be you a beautiful blonde haired girl. You don't want to end up like look OJ. Up yourself, right? Yeah. Uh, the girls are true blonde in Sweden. Sweden have hottest. That's what he's saying. But aren't you people the same genetic people that are Swedes and Sweden? Don't you have the common ancestry from Woden and Thor and Sif and uh, all the gods and the goddesses who make the Norwegian? I, I think it's more Vikings in Norway, I think, but yes. uh, Norway and Denmark, but maybe yeah. some in Sweden also. And you're also raping and pillaging in the good old days, a lot of raping, a lot of pillaging. So you would have been jumping on each other's ladies. <laughs> we, like, we take, the, we take the girls before, happened. we take the woman and the girls before they say no. So we just attack them and then it's okay. That, and no, uh, that, no it's oh, what happened hey, in the old hey, days. Look. It's that kind of mentality towards women yeah. that bullying brings. Bowling. Bowling yeah. is the source of your 
Oh, yes. look that at that. Oh, the white uh, Vikings. Why? Okay, come to Britain if you want to see greasy, chubby girls. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Can you even sing a yag? Yag are in the shoe. Yag are in the shoe. I don't know. It's, it's a... It's a, it's a Norwegian song that we try to make fun of the Swedish. The yes. Swedish and the Norwegian, they always fight a little bit with the songs. Oh, and it's jokes a, and yeah, it's like a Canada it's a America thing. Oh, my buddy, wax yeah, American wait, lives you... on the beach. He plants iron all day and he roller skates. And didn't, didn't, you know, Ivan, didn't you say yeah. the northern Norwegians don't like the southern Norwegians? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. It isn't Zeb in the southern part. Yeah, it's uh, obvious yeah. because the southern Norwegian don't like the northern Norwegian, yeah. but it's in the southern part. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, what does this word mean in Swedish or in the Norwegian? Because this Neb is talking it's, some sort of Norwegian no. here. It's the name of another guy in the stream, right? What? Oh, I thought it was yeah. Norwegian. Like, but, but wait a second. Yeah. Ivan, I want you to know I like you because you're northern Norwegian. Oh, the real, yeah. the real Zeb, 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 I don't care for as much because he's southern. Okay. Nice, Rob. I like you too. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. These uh, now, when you have your hamburger, are you going to have ketchup, mustard, an onion on it, you, uh, the tomato? Are you going to have the full works lettuce, perhaps? No, no, I don't need mustard with. Uh... No mustard. That's, that's uh, I love mustard that's on a hamburger. What about the Thousand Island dressing? God, and now I'm wanting to. I'm uh, getting hungry. Maybe, yeah, that may, may, mayonnaise. That's for may, sure. I, I'm a big mayonnaise fan. Yeah, yeah. So. I like mayonnaise when they add chili in the mayonnaise. So chili mayonnaise, that's my favorite. Well, okay. now you now you're making me rethink liking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm West Door. No, listen, oh, Ivan. Okay. Do people refer to them as West and East Norwegian? Sometimes we call we, we say West, but uh, usually we say South and North. But that's, yeah, that's and listen, uh, Zeb. I think you need a ge geography lesson in Norwegian. <laughs> but he's in the West, of course. But uh... what would you now? Seriously, we'll get you back. You, uh, we'll get you back, Melody. Don't would you worry about you that. Consider that him a Southern Norwegian, right? Wh what? You consider Zeb a Southern Norwegian. Yeah, he's from the South. Yeah, yeah. But no, he, listen, Zeb, West, you're from so. the South. Zeb, no, you're I'm, in the South part. I'm from the West. I'm yeah. in the West. Rachel's from in the West. The West, West is the best. I'm yes. from the North. The Vikings. Yeah. Yes. Zeb, stop living in a, a field of lies. Yes. Oh, Annie Frick Lynch School. Yeah, I can tell a story about uh, this girl. This girl, okay. Anne Fried Lyngstad, she's uh, one of the two ladies from ABBA. Yes, she and is. She is born in my neighbor town. It's only what? one hours, one hours and 30 minutes with the car, and the yeah. town's called Narvik. Now, Narvik. How, did Narvik, she, I know. how did Narvik. she escape to All Sweden? Right. Now, Norvik is very, very close to the Swedish Norvik border. Very close to the yeah. Swedish border. Norvik. So, I, so I, I don't know the whole history. I don't remember yeah. it. But it's only uh, 50 minutes with a train from Norvik to the to the Swedish border when we do skiing. Yeah. We do downhill skiing there. It's a very nice place. But it's only one hour and 20 minutes with car from my place. So what? she's from Norvik. Is there, do you have snakes in Norvik, eh? We have uh, we have only snakes in the southern part of Nor Norway. Yeah, in the right. north, well, listen, no Rachel. Snakes. They only have snakes in the southern part. Hence yeah. Zeb. Come on, <laughs> Rachel. But that's true, Rob. We only have snakes in the. You know, you have a funny, funny, funny twist. Yes, funny twist. Narvik city near Sveji. Yes, yes. Even I just love you being here with these because it's like international flavor, and we're all yes. from all over the world. And yet we're all so similar with our love of hamburgers and greasy food. Our son is going to Norway next year. Our son's going to Norway, Ivan. My oh. son is going to Norway next year for a visit. Oh, where in where in Norway? Where is he going? Oslo, he's maybe? Going to visit his friend who's there. He's got his friend is Norvegi who lives in Norvegi. Okay. He's a young man. He likes music. Hey. Uh, uh, Rachel, tell your son to stay away from the southern part of Norway. Hey, out of the southern part of Norway. Let me know when he's in Norway and where he's going. Maybe I can say hello. 
Yes, you would like him. He's hey, very nice hey, young. Hey, guy. Rachel, there's yeah. an invitation for him to go bowling. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine bowling in Norway? Like, what a what a mind blow! You come out of your own little neighborhood. There it is. We were talking about this earlier. The world's most beautiful ball. Look at the smile. I just love your beautiful smile as you do it. Look at you go. Rachel, hey, yeah, I, I, hold on. Rachel, I want to get another Rachel, shot. Of it. Show you one the more, you man, where your head's slightly tilted to the right because you do a good three quarter profile. Yeah, smile. There you go. Oh, that's yeah. good. I go. Okay, got now, it. Now, Rachel, I'd show you the world's okay. most beautiful ball, okay. but I'd be afraid your stream might get taken now. I love this picture. His ball is so beautiful. Save. I'm going to save this one over the old one because this is even better. Mm. This is a good one. Thank you. This is going to be. We're going to be putting on a cup, Eva. Okay. Do you, oh, you do that, would you like a shower curtain with it? You you go in the shower and that would be it. I don't have a shower. No, I don't. I, 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 I don't need a shower curtain. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh oh. Now, we don't want any contract negotiations. Uh, okay, Bill Bill Murray's ball and kingpin is awesome as well. Holy smokes. Okay, uh, Rob, you got any records to show kids? Evan's been showing the records. I bought a few to put in an auction. All right, let's take a look. Let's promo it. No, I don't promo. mind. I don't know what my next auction is. I'll All show right. them I got to eat an egg, man. Oh, yeah, what are you eating? Mm. <laughs> How my egg? Do you want me to show my ball? You got a ball? I got balls, Rachel. Hey, Mom. Mm. What this you yeah, this endorsement should be good for your channel. I like Johnny also. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. He never talk anything uh, nasty about other people. He's, no, actually, he's a, he, whole, he, he's a pure no, good, you know. Yeah. No, yeah. He, he, he did say something about two people. Okay. Okay. I don't think he likes his mailman too much. <laughs> but who who likes his uh, who like the mailman? My mailman's good one. Okay, Rob, read this. Rachel, what about Renee 106 curtains? Yeah, we could do those. Hmm. Will, will they be the full shot of the full Renee? It's up to Renee. <laughs> Holy crap, can you imagine? Hmm. It left nothing to the imagination. You can see everything outlined. Johnny, this is for you. Okay, Johnny. What do you think of that, Johnny? Oh. Okay, what's going on? Okay, speaking now, of I, you know what, I, I, nothing against the music in Norway, but those album covers are not too spectacular. No, no. it's just I have you know uh, um, very close to this place in this room. I have all my eighties and late seventies, uh, uh, twelve inch and and dance and disco and uh, uh, records. So I have all my jazz is downstairs in my living room. And so I have different places. I have it all over, oh, three rooms. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Listen, Rich. Uh-oh. Ivan cho chooses to walk on the sunny side of the street. Yes. I'm more pragmatic. We are different. People are different. We should uh, we should uh, recognize that. Celebrate, to say. celebrate uh, our differences, Ivan. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's all I do here is recognize how different people are than me. <laughs> you the joke. You are a joker in the stream. You were called. The yes. Yeah. He's a midnight but, joker. But uh, Rob the Wax, I, me and Rachel still want to have a picture or a video with you on the Muscle Beach on the roller skating yeah. and with the sleeves yeah. up here. I love here that. And, I love that. All right. Here's that. my, here's my response that. to that. Okay. You can crap in one hand and wish in the other. <laughs> See what gets filled up first. <laughs> you it know, was, I, can, yes. I can tell you, I can tell you a story, Rob and Rachel. You know, in North Korea, yes, the, the, the what you call it, the crap, the stuff you come out of your body. Yeah, they take they, they take care of that and they put it in big bags and give it to the government, and the okay. government give them to the farmers. 
So that's very strange, but that's true. It's in North Korea. They do uh -oh. like that. Uh oh, trouble. There is some criticism coming in for the wax. No, no, it's a fact, Rachel. That's why that's why I'm slumming it here. <laughs> he could be doing so much better for himself. Mm -hmm. Hi, D. I do. Uh, I have to uh -oh. I have to go. Oh, oh no. Go right yeah. D, we love you so much. You're all that was so much fun. Thank you. I love you too. Okay. So have what a good you? birthday. Have a good birthday. Now have a best oh, birthday. Hold on, hold on uh, Loki. Can you highlight Loki? Goodbye, Dees. Happy okay. birthday. Okay. Make sure you get make sure you get your free little cupcake or whatever they give you at the yeah. restaurant. Make sure okay, it's free. You. Get that bye, bye. Get a treat. Bye, hey, Dee. Uh, Dee, sirs, He's our friend. Okay, listen, here's your comment, Ralph. I, I'm probably gonna do one tonight. So right. there you go. Okay. Tonight. Now, so is it going to be a live stream or is it going to be a, uh, you know, what is exactly going to be a, a live stream? I'll be doing a Patreon. We have a Patreon live stream. When That's are you it. starting, Rob? Which time? Yeah, Rob. Maybe around 4 p.m. Pacific. Try to start early so I can watch the beginning of the show. Johnny, well, I can make you up and watch it after the fact. Yeah, That's I like it. to maybe uh, say hello on the, when you are live. All right. No, they're not. Cats are not people. They're cats. Hmm. He's got some Led Zeppelin test pressings. Are you oh, kidding that's me? Nice. Holy smokes. Robert Ludwig, <laughs> Led Zeppelin test pressings. Um, okay, so what so what's Michael got going there? It sounds amazing. Who? Uh oh, here's our friend Trish. She goes, Hey Rich. I gave you a shout out in my nature walk video. You can tune in at youtube.com user DJ Trish. Trish, I'll go over and watch it. Give you a nice little compliment. Thank you for, uh, uh, for giving me a shout out. It's very much appreciated. Uh, okay. I need the wax opinion of death. OJ Simpson, Rob, how do you capsulize the man's career? Uh, it was in a word, you know, how would you do it? Uh, I mean, he became a big villain. After. Very large villain. But there was talk that he used there to be. There was there. talk. Didn't there, wasn't there talk that he used to beat his first wife? So maybe the what? thought that Rachel has that his brain was messed up is true. Okay. Uh, anyway, remember, Rob? Rob, Rob, remember that O.J. Simpson was in the Naked Gun, this movie. That was a fun movie. He was also yeah. in... Um, a bunch of those disaster films, wasn't he yes. in the Towering Inferno? Yeah, yeah. Air, airplanes movie, I think. Was it? Well, he was in. I know he was in Towering Inferno. I don't know about if any. Look, of the I'm my adorable listening look. You what? just time it and you blink your eyes occasionally. No, Rachel, it looks like you're holding a fart in, really. <laughs> I'm just trying to pull out all the stuff to keep the get the best entertainment going. And with that in mind, 140 watch. Can we get some thumbs up today? It really does help the TV show. Yvonne, you have what's called a cool T-shirt. That's from DJ Trish saying it. This is from the Galaxy of the... Like, you the see Guardians the of the Galaxy movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's yeah. the world's most awesome mixtape. We come and yeah. get your love on it. By Redbone. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, OJ Simpson was in Dragnet, uh, the TV series. Yeah. From that was yeah. the first one in '68. So he wasn't uh, in the Poseidon Adventure. Yeah, let's uh, see. No, no. Lot of the Naked Gun, Naked Gun two and a half, and the original. Uh, you know, Shelley Winters nearly survived that. <laughs> no, she... the Poseidon. She nearly that's, did. That's her best role by tenfold. I, what do you think about Shelley Winters, Rob? Old Hollywood, uh, well, are you a fan? I, I found her kind of she nice. was like a hot piece of ass, and then, you know, she changed. Thank you, Melody. I so appreciate it. Uh, he's more known for a slasher film. That's horrible. Mm. That's horrible. Uh, who wasn't it? A lot of people oh. were in it. I wasn't. Oh, uh, what did you think of the Rachel? You're into the I bet you yeah. this is one of your favorite movies because okay. it goes to your conspiracy leanings. Yes, go ahead. 
Wasn't he in Capricorn One? Do you remember that movie? Capricorn One is an incredible film about the faking of the moon landing. OJ was actually in. Yeah, he was in Capricorn. Yeah, that was in 1977. Capricorn yeah. One. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, didn't who didn't James uh, Brolin star in that? Yes, John Walker, Johnny Walker, little Johnny Walker, Elliot Gold, James okay. Brolin. Yeah. Uh oh, look at this. This is Rob. This is Mac with a criticizing kind of in insight. Well, they're still owed a lot of money, right? That he claimed he never had. So if there's an inheritance, yeah, know. it's gonna go. Listen, yeah, Vance, this is a bit hold on, hold on. I want to address Vance's you comment. You are hit like hard. Vance, I, I'm going to guess hard. that the, the phrase hot piece of ass has come out of your mouth before. Please be honest. OJ was in Coming to America. That happened as well. He was not in Coming to America. Me oh. love films. Coming to America was so funny. OJ was Coming to America. Prof. Courtney knows. He was not in Coming to America. Not He's a professor America. for love of God. Rob has uh, has the right information. He was not in the movie coming into America. Thank okay. you. All right. You know, you know why I, I appear so smart to you, Ivan? Because I'm not from the south. Yeah. Of Norway. But you are a movie music guy, and therefore I like you a lot because you know a lot about music and movie. And jazz, uh, I'm a new newcomer in jazz, but uh, so am but I. I, I, I try to. Jazz, to I, 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 yeah. I do know a lot about movies. Hmm. Thank you, Greg. Every thumbs up counts. Have you seen I'm this not... movie called oh, Big oh. Fish? Yes, I've yeah. seen Big Fish. I like that. That's a very good movie. So uh, tell me about the... Uh, Rob, are you up on the Mike Esposito auction and what he's got for sale? No, I saw. I actually spoke to Mike yesterday. So okay. I What's saw the... I saw that. But that collection he, he acquired is... He did it on consignment. So okay. he's selling it for that person. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, the point is, is that this uh, oh, they're dude, available. It's, uh, it's probably the most killer stuff he's ever come across. Really? Are any yeah. Beatles in there? I didn't notice that. So, but he's got some uh, rare Zeppelin test pressings. Yeah, a lot, a lot of classic record stuff. Is he going to do a, a whatnot? Or is he going to do a client? How's he selling this stuff? Like, is a it what, what, the store? What not? What not? It is going to be a whatnot thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's dynamite. That is like dancing with death because the temptation to buy when you're just, you know, it's just words and then you realize your pocketbook later. How much do you think a Led Zeppelin test press thing is going to go for? Right? I gotta hey, watch this. Can you highlight Mac's comment? Mac, I also, I knew that stuff, I but I believe that. I had heard that he beat his first wife. Okay. Um, alleged being having to call is uh, Re, uh, Faye Resnick's book. Faye Resnick. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's who's this guy? Spins vinyl. Isn't he a good guy? There's too many spinning vinyl channels. There's a bunch. How do we feel about spins vinyl? His whatnot, dude, seems oh, like he's just trying to sell. Who I, is? Yeah, no, I kind of feel like whatnot's kind of evened out. But originally, I st I stopped really going there because the prices are not what I yeah, would just... pay for records. But when whatnot started and all these guys were going on there selling, there were guys selling a bunch of crap, Ola. But that's just the same everywhere, you know. Holy shit! Okay, so spins vinyl. He's a. Uh... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know this guy really. He chance knows him and Jose knows him. He did a stream with, uh, Jason Rojas, Mr. Hall of Fame, uh, chance and, uh, well, well, you know, you judge the people with the company they keep. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably just let that one go. But anyway, yeah. So I don't know it, and I, so I don't know the guy, and I don't, I don't know anything about this. I guess what's his name? Um, Chance knows him. I met OJ once. Well, that's interesting. You know, all the years I lived in Brentwood, I never came across him. All right, this is good. Thank you, Peck. Mm. 
I saw a video from AGK. He did a new order concert. He did a good job. Yeah, uh, AGK is doing concerts. They're really good. I see, Rachel, you give me 11 new subscribers on this stream. That's nice. All right. Well, we so like. I'm a 793, so I'm only. So six, we need seven, seven more. Kids. Seven, seven more. Can mm -hmm. we get seven more subscribers? Put your link in there for the kids. Can we, if we, if somebody here, we got 137 watching. If somebody here is not subscribed to Ivan, could you subscribe to him to help his channel? Thank you. There's Ivan. Just go there, Vinyl Community. It doesn't hurt you to give thumbs up, and it helps them, right? And it's no free. Time. It costs no, no money. No money. It's no it's money. Free. It's free, you know. And uh, and you make a little boy all happy. Time is money. I did yeah, watch Frank true. watch Sticker Man peel the butcher cover. Yeah, I did a YouTube short. It's a short, isn't it? I saw no, two, uh, two, uh, two movies. Uh, two, uh, yeah. yeah, I made two uh, videos also. Uh, uh, Thank you, video, Darren, video. for helping out. Can Thank you make you a video of you bowling? I can make a video with when I'm bowling. That's no problem. I can do that. Ivan is not doing parody videos. There's too many already. It was only one April Fool's parody movie. Thank you, Colin. Oh, wait, uh, here, you know what? I'm going to send a challenge to someone. Uh, in the here's here. the challenge. Ryan Anderson, why don't you come up on screen? That's uh -oh. a challenge to you. Uh-oh. Now, why, are you, why hey. are you issuing that challenge? Oh, the bowling ball is in your court at Ryan Anderson. Yeah. Okay, we got further trouble. Where did Rice Patties Jr. go? Now that's uh that's our Fonchi Pot. I'm gonna I guess don't know what happened like, to him. I'm gonna guess he feels like his work is done or his father murdered him. He's one of the best. Uh, in, in fact, I would say he was the best at the best. Uh oh. Ryan is starting to Think twice about attacking. Is Ryan in UK or in America? He might as well be in UK. But Ryan's in, in the yeah, he's an American boy. It's American filled boy. with American thoughts of America. He's what he's. It's weird with him, Ivan, because technically he's in the northern part of the U.S. Okay, but I really wish he was in the southern part, if okay. you know what I mean. Well, Fred, you're welcome to come up and promote your channel. You know that. I always find it's better for people to come on camera if you want to promote your channel because people do have the visuals that always mean something, and it, it kind of helps promote them. I and the personality. The personality also. Yeah, Ryan, that, yeah. yeah Ryan Anderson. Okay. If you, if you don't come up, you're flat, you know. Well, like, he's, uh, he'd love to, but he's working. He, he, he'd love to, but he can't. Yeah, look, put the broom down and come up on the broom. <laughs> Holy smokes. Listen, there's nothing wrong with janitorial. I'll tell you that much. You know, like a, the garbage men, they call themselves industrial engineers. It's a way of redefining in order to add dignity to an otherwise dignitless uh, occupational. He, activity. Ryan Anderson, really likes pushing that green look across the floor. Only five to uh, to get this uh, goal. How five many do you need now? We're trying to get to 800. Five more, and he's going to have 800 more. subs. Don't you want to see him have 800 subs? Wouldn't that make your summer better, Vinyl Community? Then I will do a video from the bowling alley if I reach eight, uh, 800. Yeah. Rob, do you want to take this on, please? Not many people get my personality. That's cool. Yeah. Who are the, may, let, why don't you come up on screen, Edward, and tell us who the people are individually? That what that do, do get the person or don't that get it? Don't get it. Wow, that probably be like it would be easier to go people that do get it because it'd probably be a smaller number, right? There are five people who don't get like, my birthday. yeah, but five people like five people don't get like there's more than five people don't get your stuff, right, Rob? Like there's a few five. There are hey, uh, Ryan Anderson has some more insight to his profession. <laughs> Matt, you got a great channel, and you're you're putting a lot of content out. We love you, Matt. Thanks for uh, being part of the fun here. Okay, uh, Wax. Currently, my job entails emptying garbage bins at the indoor mall. Hey, that's fantastic because you get access to going down. Well, to uh, the so I have more. The mall. I have more insight to that comic. Can you put it back up? Uh, yeah. Um, 
So Ryan Anderson quit his job as a high powered lawyer. Yes. Once he saw the Mazzy Mall video. Yes. And to get a job as it a seemed like carpet. such a fun place to be. Yeah, to get a job as a janitor at a mall because he's so anxious to run into Mazzy. But I think Ryan used he need to work and not write so much in the chat if he's on work now. <laughs> Well, That's I can't example. believe this comment. This is from Melody. I can relate. I have been known to be a downer to some fact. You're not a downer. You're a high energy, upbeat, fun loving guy. We I, we think you're popular. Rob. It's so horrendous, Rachel. It won't even show it. Brad, even though it's true. What what do you need to show, Rachel? Brad, I heard Rice Patties had a Trump-style late-term abortion order on Junior because Arizona. It's very sad. Very sad. Well, you know, very I'm, sad. I'm, Loki, Loki, I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, is it too late for Rice Patties to be aborted? Let me know in the comments below. Come on. Hey, Michael Rice Patties. You should come on the TV show. This is MPL that's calling. I'm calling upon Rice Patty. Come on, Michael. Come and join the show with Ivan and Wags to me and all the friends. We'll, we'll show you how to hold the ball. Would you like the, that? Yeah. Now, now, Ivan, when you're at the bowling alley, are there still people that ball take the ball between their legs and roll it down the lane? Uh maybe old ladies and young kids okay but they have uh they have something that they take very to the lane and you can yeah. just put the ball and it it rolled on uh rolled on this uh so so you don't need to do that i love pb tell uh pb tell in the house it goes i feel a season reset coming soon well we had some real concerns today early in the show rob didn't rob just didn't buy it but, of course, I'm more prone to these conspiracy theories. And uh, so the whole thing was James is moving out. Like, he's leaving the home. He's gone. And Rob says it's an impossibility. And I go, yeah, that's my My gut instinct was telling me that. But my head was going, well, Evan's breaking the story saying he's out on his own. So, <laughs> But then it turned out that wasn't the case. No, is Bill James and his mom probably downsizing? Now, the question for you, Rachel, is um, where are they moving to? Are they moving back to where he came from near Montreal, or is he mm, staying in that? We don't know he? that. We don't New know that. Finland? Uh, you know what? I think no. I think it's, I mean, they could, but it's a very expensive, like Montreal's expensive, right? So you've got a widow lady, a poor widow, widow woman. No, no way in hell. James is on his own. I know. Rob, I heard that the J that the James will move very close to Rachel, maybe very close to the, his her neighborhood. That's the latest news. Rachel, or any or any of the uh, in the old folks community, any of the mobile homes empty? Yes. Yeah, open. Well, well, well you know, here's the interesting thing. James now he apparently he's just turned fifty five years young, so he's young enough to be here. There's no way out. Well, the whole thing is, it's like. His sister has Lydian a legal conservatorship over him. They are moving to downtown. They can't afford that, Mark. <laughs> they can't. No, I know the finances. I know everything. They told me everything. I know the whole story about their whole lives. And I'm just but telling you. There's no more they expensive, Rachel, that. Toronto or Montreal. Oh, uh, Toronto, it's 51, half a dozen. The other, they're both very expensive to live in. Both of them high, highly sought. Uh, Oslo is very expensive, says he. Yeah, uh, James, James uh, asked about uh, it's expensive to live in Norway. And, yeah. and, and of course, it's true. And, and to live in Oslo, because the, the houses and the apartment is very, very expensive. That's the main capital. But uh, it's expensive to live here, but we earn a lot of money also. So, uh, now, now, Ivan, is it cheap to live in, in the south? <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, if you if you live very in the uh, outside the big cities, it's it's yeah. cheap to live. The houses are cheap, but the, the food is expensive, and the power, electricity, yeah. and the gas. No, it's already the sisters got guardianship over him. In the case, 
anything happens to mother, uh, the sister has, uh, she's been given custody of them. So that's kind of what's happening there. The sister has custody, but there's no way he could survive on his own. That's why I was so nonplussed when, because it's like, you know, there was a puppet incident and then the fallout of that, it was sort of thing like he's going to run away. And I just thought, well, that doesn't make sense, but you know, on a gut level, but I considered the source, Ivan, smart guy thinking all the time. I figured he had all the story together about it. The sir is 65. No, he's 55. Sir James is 55 years of age. He's he just not, looks 65. He's, he, yeah. he's. It was so embarrassing when his mom first came on. I said, oh, is this your wife? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. I did say it. But I had no idea, right? What do I know? Uh, Medium-sized burger in Norway is like 250 bucks. Now, Rachel. Andrew, yeah. It, I remember when I first met James. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go back in time now. <laughs> that uh, that um, yes, we're. I'm a little older than him, but I yeah. don't feel that the. I know, the, I know. That's just old. Looked, right? I thought he was much older than I was. Part of his illness. Isn't it? I think it may be part of his, his condition, yeah. Rob. That there's a premature. Remember those little children. That could age like they would look like so they're what they're saying is he was Benjamin Button, Rachel. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I want to know when was Wax first appearance on the show? Okay, let's happened. talk about that. Wax, yeah, you know, you Rachel, know? I'm very I upset, know the you know, story. You know what? We you celebrate someone dropping yeah. a log. Yeah, you don't celebrate the date, my date first. Your year. date. Your date. Well, we're going to find that out right now. Let's turn the clock back. Do, 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 do. And uh, it, it was Rob, and I found him over on Greg the Vinyl Rundown. Rundown. The Greg yeah. the Vinyl Rundown. And he said, there's a great new talent. He's coming to my neighborhood for right here in Muscle Beach. He lives down in Muscle Beach as well with a great pool in the backyard. And uh, it was Rachel's different voices indicative of a condition. It could be possibly. And anyway, so what happens is uh, he's with uh, Greg. You're on with Greg, and you're so nervous, like a deer in the headlights, because you weren't used to the medium yet. You uh, were fiddling. On, you're like going, Rachel, I was oh, fine. hi, everybody. I'm Robert. No, I yeah. was fine. I was fine. You can watch it. It's probably still up on Greg's I, It's show. still up there. It's horrible viewing. I don't recommend it. Could cost you some subs. It's just you're so awkward. You're learning to find your feet. Rachel, I was. If do you want me to show you how I was on Greg's thing? Yeah, I'd like to see it. Here he is. Hi, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. <laughs> he was so young and fresh. Then, so I watched that video, and then Rob was in. Hey, Rob, I. Saw you on the uh, Greg show, and well, let's go find that on the Greg show, because uh, that'll tell us when it was. No, like, please. When, well, no, uh, I won't play it. Yeah, uh, just the day. Someone, someone said in the chat that the, that the medium-sized burger will cost two hundred and fifty bucks. Bucks, that's not true. Twelve dollar, right, so you get the Big Mac menu. Big Mac, twelve dollar, American dollar. That's about the same, I think. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Uh, the Wax one. Kinda... Introducing Rob the Wax two years ago. Can I get a link? Please? Yeah. I, here, uh, I've, Rachel, got... I've, been, I've been coming here more than two years now. No, it was after this event. It was? Okay. Yeah. Because uh, Greg, I, I found you on the Greg show. And okay. then you came over. And I don't know if I left a comment on that. Let's see the comments. Uh, there's one here from uh, the... What's the rice patties? Interesting. There uh, is? There no, is? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I can't. I don't even that. think uh, rice patties know who Greg is. He probably doesn't. Uh, the flip side, JT goes, the wax is a great channel, great interview. V DJ Vinyl Vertigo, one year, he saw this a year later. Rob is hilarious. Rob is hilarious. So DJ Vinyl Vertigo found you a year ago. Uh, love to have Lee's Black do a skit in Vinyl Community, David Bryan Bartlett. Great conversation. Thank you, Greg. I found Rob's channel because you mentioned it in one of your videos. 
Nice interview with Waxed. I learned a lot. It's called Introducing Rob the Wax, new vinyl channel. And I'll give it a thumbs but up. It doesn't give a date. Yeah, it's it just says uh, two years streamed. It could be two years and eight months. Well, no, it's two. No, they would say that it would. Whatever. It would. Yeah, it would. Well, okay, Rachel. So let's look yeah. at the date of my channel. Okay, let's. Not too it. long after, I think I. You were a new channel around that time. Right. So if I go to my channel, oh, my earliest video. You're starting to sound a bit like Renee. Oh, my. <laughs> Rachel. My <earlier>. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> yeah. My thing is bent. <laughs> my video is bent. Okay. We're getting to, we're going right. back in time. All right. My first video was three years ago. Okay, it's near nearly three years ago, streamed live on May 7, 2021. Right. Rob, so, I have a just question to you when you're oh, finished with yeah. this. We're going memory, back in time memory. right now. We'll get to your just yeah, question. That makes more sense. Okay. Lots of vaginas here. Hi, uh, hi there, friend. Hi. Uh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. And yeah. yeah, why don't you go pick another name from a? Uh, My uh, first video was 28 months ago. That's over two years ago. Final community. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are you ready for the just question? Okay, let's do it. It better, it better be a good one. It better be good. It's brand new jazz. I don't know if you're into that, but it's okay. on Blue Note. Yeah. It's a woman called Melissa Aldana. She has a new record called Echoes of the Inner Prophecy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I streamed a bit that? of it. I streamed a bit of it yesterday. Mm. Mm. You like it? Um, okay. It was okay. I know she's from... Uh, We're dealing with a jazz I think question. She's Argentinian, or I, th I think she's from South America, and she came here to go to school like at berkeley and stuff so she's like a prodigy type of person mm, she but plays uh sax saxophone i think yeah 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 with her yeah. i think she has a group with her husband mm. i don't know i mean it sounds okay but after listening to what i heard it, i wasn't anxious to pick up her music so it's a little mellow just for you maybe no i think she her style was fine it just mm. you know i i haven't gotten into much newer stuff but there's some Mm. So. But this is out now. It was out last uh, weekend, so it's brand new, this record. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, Rob, one of the, you've brought so much to the show. One of the innovations that you provided was uh, kind of an, a, an accelerated or a, an amended version of the puppet walk. James had watched to the end, walked slowly, and he never really did master the puppet walk. It was more of a Joe, Joe Biden shuffle, I call it. But at the end, he'd get to the end. And then you said, at this point, James, could you possibly bow, do a bow and a salute? And that punctuated. It was like a maraschino cherry sitting atop a beautiful Sunday. That moment in the puppet walk sequence, I think, really sold the bet to so many in the vinyl community at that time and made the puppet walk one of the most memorable aspects of the original program, Rachel's The Music Map Show. Come join us, Frederick. Are you going to watch this new um, uh, uh, Amy Winehouse movie, Rob, or you just wait for it to uh, come to streaming? You know, it kind of looks fake to me. You know what I mean? Mm. It looks, it looks overproduced. It just too. You know what? I bet you in that movie they go, "Damn it, Amy! It's 1997." When they do shit like that, it's fake. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we got it. I still got to talk to Phil, try and get him on the show. Robbie, here's a great comment for you to read. I did like OJ in the Naked Gun movies. Unfortunately, now he's uh, being beaten all over the face with his yeah. hands yeah. by a flaming kid. Flaming, well, flaming. He's, he's, he's no longer existing on the earth. His, he's, he's gone. This, oh, uh, this guy, this guy that uh, Brad, uh, he, he, he's one of the good guys in the VC. He's very. Uh, Bob, okay. Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley. Well, you know, uh, there have been videos where people said, I met the wax. He wasn't very nice. I bet you if I met Bob Bradley, he'd be nicer. <laughs> it's so funny because when I've we've had Massey show the back of his shirt, but he doesn't fall for it. It's a little different the way Massey goes about it. 
But it was always fun to see the back of uh, James. I said, well, can we see the back of the shirt, James? <laughs> and the hilarity would ensue. Um, things are fantastic. Are we getting uh, you coming up there, kid? I put the link out, didn't I? All what's right. The, what's the name of the Amy Winehouse movie? It's called the Amy Winehouse Story. No, I can take it on. Back. Back, back to black. 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 Okay. She's back. back. She's back in black. Uh -oh. Okay, right now on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, yes. It has a 53. It's not tomato. Oh, that's the critics. Let's wait for the audience. Well, that, the audience that is true. Like the, the, um, that is true because the, uh, the Bob Marley movie got bashed by critics, but the audience has liked it. Yeah, yeah, I have the Bob Marley poster also. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I would probably walk past the wax if I saw him. Listen. Oh, no. Uh, wait, if we've been talking about uh, coming to America, right, Ivan? Mm. I bet you if Prague had came across me. He would fall down on his knees like that guy in Coming to America. Remember that part? Yeah, yeah. Rob, can you read this? This is a good insight into why um, the film's emotional. I'm Amy Winehouse's story is really, really sad. They tried to get her to read <laughs> No, 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 no. Yes. They tried to help. But hey, Rachel, did her. you know that I'm Amy Winehouse? What? Amy Winehouse? She You're was a Jew. She was a Jew. Really? Yep. So many in Hollywood are. Frederick, are you Jewish by any chance? No, I'm not Jewish. No, not that I know of. Would you uh, like to be? We're recruiting. I, I would have to guess there are a sizable amount of Jews in Belgium. Am I wrong about that? Uh, there's a quite a big uh, Jewish community here in Antwerp. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. uh, yeah. Do you, can you get a good bagel there? Can you get a good bagel? Uh, probably. I, I don't. When I go to Antwerp, I don't really go to that part of the city. Not because I don't like it, but because there's nothing interesting. There are no record shops there, so why would I go there? All right, Rob. Maybe for this or some matzo ball soup. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I have a, a couple of Jewish restaurants in my uh, Google Maps that I should visit because friends told me it's good there but i am Fred frederick there. i've seen something that you do but i i will ask the vc community if, if they can get it because i'm too sexy you know the song and you yeah. have uh what is uh you have some writing on your on your screen and can the vc guess it's the bane of my guess, existence guess the stuff because you you have something there i'm uh no i just I, I was just looking for a, a, a silly name to put on the on the channel here. So right. Right, so I, uh, but but did you ask you, 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 you start with 1.0, 2.0, no, you're on 6.0. You just add one number each time you're on the screen or? Well, it's yeah. easy that I should have started this immediately because, because now I know it's a six times since I've started it. So yes. I, I, it will count up. And uh, if mm. I get to 100, I will send a cake to uh, to Rachel. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, Ivan. Yeah. The Belgium sense of humor is very particular. It takes a certain <laughs> type of person to understand it. That's true. I like the I like yeah. the chocolate in Belgium. They had the best yeah. chocolate in and the world. It took it took about forty years into Jean Claude Van Damme's career for people to think he was doing a joke, like <laughs> his own persona. Yeah. Don't laugh with the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> Don't laugh with the muscles from Brussels. You anyway, know, I have... originally, you know what the knock against him was? Yes. Is that he couldn't, he would land his punches and piss everyone off. Okay. But I uh, I, I watched one or two Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and then I gave up. It's totally no, not my thing. I look, I do like him. He's I like his movies. The um, the best one is was, the is one, the one it was the, his ripoff of Die Hard is pretty good. Of uh, oh. uh, sudden death, where he's the hockey, it takes place at a hockey game. That one's a good movie. I, I saw Universal Soldier, I think, but uh, that was about yeah, it. yeah. That they're better movies than that one, probably. Yeah, <laughs> without Sean Claude Van Damme, probably. I think the uh, the best Jean Claude film ever done. There's OJ Runny. Remember the Olympics when he ran the torch and the uh, it was the okay. '84 Olympics. 
Yeah, that looks like that. Yeah, that's O.J. Simpson. Yeah. He's yeah, a, it's O.J. He, he carried the torch for the 84 Olympics in uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yeah. Mm. Now, here's an interesting thing. <laughs> Did you guys see the, I think it was called Death Warrant with Jean-Claude Van Damme? Yes. He's in, in this prison. exciting episode, he goes to prison. He meets this tough guy, black guy, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of what I, what are going to be called? And I don't please don't be upset. They're called prison bitches, and they're all fed female hormones and stuff. And at one point, Jean Claude is offered to have his own female hormones so he can have bosom and be have fun in prison. They're actually referred to, and I don't want to cause any trouble, but they they have a an expression prison language for these terms. It was just. It was absolutely sexually stimulating, quite frankly. Let's be honest about this. Uh, Rob, go ahead. Uh, death well, warrant. It's did been said have, about. Did you ask said, for that? It's been said about Jean Claude Van Damme's movies. Yeah. They're not only entertainment, Rachel, yeah. they're educational. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. Holy smoke. Fred, go ahead. Jean Claude Van Damme. Excitement. That seemed like a very a very strange plot for a movie. Were there any soap bars involved that fell on the floor all the time, or what? I don't know. We can. I met Van Damme years ago in downtown Vancouver on Davy Street, where they called. There's a great movie called Hookers on Davy, and a lot of these people are what's termed in the language of the street she males. Okay. <laughs> well, and, Rachel, uh, why yeah. is the street called Davy? <laughs> Well, it's named, I, that's part of our British Columbia history. It's because of little Davy Peterson. He put his hand, finger in a dike. And. <laughs> Hold on, Rachel. Oh, yes. Rachel, was the dike a female hooker? <laughs> Susie, can you intervene here? Because every time I come on, uh, Rachel starts about porn or somebody starts about porn. I didn't do anything now. Well, you, know, you, I, mentioned... you are too sexy for the stream. I'm too sexy, too for, the sexy stream, for the stream. Now, yeah. now that you <laughs> mention it. <laughs> now, Ryan Anderson, I love what you're commenting here. Rich is attracted to prison movies. Remember the prison BJ movie clip you showed us? Now, that was from episode two, season two. And it was an incredible thing. Fred, this could be very disturbing to you. But it stirred the incredible William H. Macy. Okay. And he had commits a crime with, in fact, a hawker. And he ends up being sent to prison. And he's <laughs> he gets a boyfriend in prison. And he ends up all prison like he ends up shaving his hair like your look. And he's got ink what? on him and he's all tough at the end. But he loves his. And there's a tender moment where his boyfriend and he gives him a little kiss after the, after the, you know, loving's over. It's a what very film good that? film. Does yeah, what film? What, I missed the, the title. I missed the title. What's the name of the film? Okay, let's find it. William H Macy. H Macy. Murder. I'll put down the words murder, and prison. Oh. Okay. It's the film is called Edmund. Okay. And I'll show the whole thing for you here. Okay. This is a mostly movie. Edmund is an American thriller. 2005 was the year. Oh. Directed by Stuart, starring William H. Macy. Okay. Based on 82 Edmund. Mamet also wrote a screenplay. The plot. And we'll go through. Uh, Okay. Um, in jail, Emmy begins to appreciate the security of his old life, but it's too late. Uh, okay. Edmund is paired with a black cellmate. He likes prison because it's simple. He speaks <laughs> out he's always feared black people, but now he shares a room with one. He can finally feel a bond after he's raped, right? The indifferent <laughs> cellmate then forces Edmund to perform oral... Yes. Oh, Edmund tells the prison minister what happened, but goes off on a tangent. As Rachel, Rachel, you must be a little bit more serious on your show. Oh, because the best, oh, the, oh. the best prison movie, oh, yeah, all, yeah. All, the, it's called yeah. The Midnight Express from 1978. Midnight Express, that's the best yeah. prison movie. All right. Yeah, um, prison movies. Uh, yeah. The Shawshank Redemption was in a prison, right? 
Yeah. That's also a good one. That's yeah, also a good very one. good present. Those two are good ones. The two best, I think. Also, and, the uh, magnificent beauty of the Green Mile. Here we have prisoners learning to love one another. And I, I one of the best prison films is the Midnight Express, where you've got this guy thrown in for drugs. Oh, <laughs> Billy! And then, but yet he find you can find love in prison. And this is something I've always tried to teach Rob. You can find love in prison. Rob, hey, those Rachel, are words to live Rachel, by. Rachel, yeah. you don't tell many people this. Can you show us your collection of shanks? <laughs> Rachel, you only find love in prison if you have a soap and drop it. Oh. Does oh. Applebits have a macro that types act, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah? Uh? This is BB tell. Now, Rachel, <laughs> yeah. Rachel, the law of averages says... How yeah. many people are watching right now? We got 123 because of the prison. There's at least talk. three people there that have been in prison. I'm three of us have been in prison here on the panel. I'll tell you that. Wait, One of us is not. Please refute okay. Rachel's uh, commentary, people. But, uh, Rob, Rob the Wax, you are lucky because I think some some people on the stream feel that uh, they, they are in prison because they are married. Oh, uh, well. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 uh, uh, where's your wife, Ivan? I I don't have a wife. Some of us have been in prison. Where she goes, I'm there right now. I have a I have a girlfriend. She's not living living with me. Oh my god! Uh, Fred, you ever been in prison? Uh, I have never been in prison. I have visited prisons, but it yeah. when it wasn't no longer a prison. When it was a yeah. uh, a museum so no i never never been in prison no i i so, visited alcatraz okay did you say hello to Massey when you was there in san francisco or uh you didn't know him it i've been going there for years so maybe we passed each other on the street yeah, i don't know yeah, yeah. Well, is it patrick it's just perfectly normal we're talking about great movies edmund oh, yeah. william h Massey, a star studded affair Escape from New York. That's a good one. That That's was with Nick Blitzen. I yeah, thought um, you'd be taller. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Uh, what was that uh, movie of the 80s? Uh, the Kiss of the Spider Woman. Wasn't that in the prison as well? I think so. Yeah, that was a good film. Um, Fred, what's happening musically for you on your channel right now as you continue to grow your channel into bigger levels? Um, well, life and work are a bit getting in the way of posting videos, but I, I posted one yesterday where I uh, go visit some record shops in Belgium. And, oh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, I, I hope people enjoy it, yeah. It's just very short, you know, and I show a record that I haven't listened to yet, so Rob hates me for that right now, so uh, don't you, Rob? What, what, what record? That Alice, in, Alice Coltrane record? I still haven't listened to it. Prison guard Vicky. Yeah, yeah but I have, a, I have a stack of a lot of records I haven't listened to yet. Oh, okay, yeah. But you don't show them in a video, so, you know, yeah. I show them when I pick them up and stuff, you know. So, yeah, Rob, you should, was you the when's them. the next yeah. auction? When's this happening? When are you going to I just did one on Saturday. It's probably going to be next month sometime. Next month. It's, up, uh, it's just because you bought a bunch of records. No, I mean, I'm always buying auction. records to put into the auction, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to happen later. Now, Fred, are you happy with your channel growth? Everything going the way you want it right now? Everything's on the on the uptake. Yeah. It's good. Actually, um, I did the, my last video uh, before the one I posted yesterday was the German yeah. vinyl challenge or tag, and uh, that really got me a lot of a lot of reactions. So I'm very very thankful and very happy for that. Yeah, I got a lot of response, and I think when you do these. Uh, you know the vinyl challenge from Rob Walker, like he did in the yeah. beginning of the year, or uh, like now the German uh, challenge that always gets you in playlists and people watch it. And uh, so yeah, that got me a lot of a lot of reactions. So that's good. Yeah, I like that. Oh okay. Um, oh, I appreciate, I appreciate it. Say that. Oh wow. Okay, folks. Uh, uh, our friend Nick Tronics got a store as well. So I'm just showing a new piece of merch that he's got. This new cup. And Mikey Bananas helped him get him on the cup and everything. Nick Tronic, there it is. So you have a cup of support, Nick. Isn't that great? You can get a circle mug thing I, with the I logo. only need four more, Rachel, to get to 800. 
Okay. Also, yeah, Yvonne, we're really working on that. It sometimes it doesn't work though. That's the problem. Hey, uh, yeah, I can probably guarantee you'll get four more if you show your bowling underwear. Oh, wow. bowling underwear. Yeah. Okay. She will. <laughs> she will put the time on. Uh, I'm back. Those four yeah. more. Anyway, if we got anybody here that's not subscribed, and he's got great bowling balls. Really good one. You only have one. He's got I three balls. Uh oh, the link. Okay, hang on. You want to buy a Nectronic cup, Edward? Hang on, let me get it again. I have three, uh, three, uh, Rob, three, three bobbling balls. Do you do you only bring one with you to the lane? No, I all, I always have three with me. I have a bag that uh, cover three. There you go. So I got one strike and one spare ball, a spare ball, and one extra strike. Ball. Nathaniel, we should get you up on the TV show one of these days. Do you want to come up on the panel? You should come up one of these days. We'll talk about your channel and what you're doing and stuff. Rob will yell at you and everything, so it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, that's Nathaniel. We love Nathaniel. Boom. All right. I uh, need to get a new router because our internet connection router? is shit. Yeah. Internet uh -oh. connection is shit. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I want it to go good, right? What was it? what was I talking about? I can't remember. I don't know. I wanted you're to ask a your channel. Ethan, the question. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh what, yeah. What? Ethan, do you know that question. band from Norway, Yaga Jazzist? Yaga Jazzist, yeah, that's uh, some uh, little uh, jazz prog, maybe a little bit. I, I heard yes. about them. I, yeah. Prog and jazz and uh, electronica. Uh, I really yeah. like mm -hmm. them. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so you know. Yeah. Do you have but them have, on well, on on the vinyl vinyl or? Yeah, I think I have most of their records actually because okay, I saw them yeah. live a couple of times as well, and they have some great uh, artwork. Let me, I got yeah. one here. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah, over. Robert, 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 Joey's got a question for you, Rob. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. That's nice. Oh, now it's making sense because it's also murky. Uh oh. oh Look at those true. eyes going all weird. They're bug that's, eyes. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's the best cover I've seen in many. Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, look at this rotating and everything like magic. Yeah. Cool. There's yeah. like a plastic, a plastic sleeve on top. If you pull it out, yeah. it's. Uh... Mm. Yeah, but the way it moved and everything was really cool. It could rotate like it's optical. The eyes are, yeah. Optical, optical illusion. illusion. Uh, my cousin was born with three testicles, as a fact. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a genetic anomaly. Yes. Y'all got jazz. It's a great band. Is that the last one? Uh, no, this one is that's from uh, 20. Uh, what was that? Um, 2015 already. Yeah. They I don't have like a tooth fix there. Uh, Jose, I can't bite down on bread. The bread bothers me. I can have macaroni and some softer food, yeah. you know. Eggs. I see it's a nine part, a nine piece instrumental band from Turnspike in the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last album is from 2021, I think. Yeah, mm. Raji Studios. I have actually listened to that album, so uh, yeah, not I'm not just looking at the cover for fun. All right, let's go. Uh... Uh, oh, and yeah, Oakenshield Jens, he's in uh, Sweden as well. Okay, we got a question for our Europeans, Fred and Ivan. Are you guys fans of Saint Germain's Tour East album? Yeah, that was on Blue Note, that's a good album. I it's like it, Blue Note, even. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. But uh, he started out as a house producer and he, he made some good house music uh, in France. And then he made it one album, which uh, sampled uh, Miles Davis and uh, John Lee Hooker is on there. Uh, wait, let me pull it out. Um, Saint-Germain, Saint-Germain. Saint His uh, real name is Ludvico Navarra. Navarra. Yeah. Mm. Wait. And the tourist album is very nice. It's from 2000, yeah. Hey, uh, hold on. King, I think, was the oh, Hold on, Dar Darren, what about me? You didn't ask Starting. me that question. Okay. Yeah, Rob, you ever heard about that group? No, I've never heard of them. Nice deep house, future jazz. You know this album, very, very, very nice. From 2000. It's very, very nice. 
Okay, hold on, make it big. It's on Blue Note. Yeah, that's when one. It's it, a very, very good out? album. Very good album. Yeah. When did that come out? 2000. Uh, 2000, yeah. And the popular song was Sir Thing, Sir Sur Thing or something. Mm -hmm. This has uh, this has one track which uh, samples um, Miles Davis and another mm. track with um, John Lee Hooker. Yeah. But this was in the early ninety, uh, early or late nineties, early two thousands. Um, chill out music, uh, mm. lounge music they called it. But um, this is this is the best the best one. The rest was just music a bit. But this was really really good. Uh, a I very agree. Nice album. If you, you like, go to uh, a, if you go to a bits and listen to that, it's perfect. Yeah, it's a good album. Mm. But he started as a house producer. Good mm. Oh, hold on, there's another one. We'll put make a pick. This is good too. But this is more his house stuff. Uh, but that this album Saint Germain was a uh, is a great one. Yeah, that you should buy. It's very good. <clears throat> yeah. So yes, we like. Ivan. What record are you going to buy next? You know, uh, I I'm waiting for a new Lenny Kravitz album. It's coming. I think it's coming next month or something. Wow, Lenny yeah. Kravitz, uh, like a new album, brand new album, new really? brand new album from Lenny Kravitz, and it's touring also in Europe. And uh, maybe I think it's going to play in Belgium or something. But okay. I I want to see him live he, again. I've seen 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 him twice, so it's so he just good. Got, he Kravitz. just got his um, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh, well, yes. congratulations to Lenny. Now, Rob, you're in Muscle Beach. You know how these things work. Do Is there a committee you have to get people to sign and you pay money and you get your start? Yeah, there's a you have to get enough people to sign a petition. Yeah. And then you have to come up with the money to pay for everything. Because it's impossible for us to get our names. I would like to be Rachel's Ghost TV show and then put you and me on there together in the category of entertainers. Entertaining no, uh, Rachel, Rachel, isn't there the walk of shame in Vancouver that is looking yeah. to get you to put something in? Yes, there? my prime minister makes me walk that. Uh okay, Kravitz really sounds like Prince. Is there a vacuum created by the uh, passing of Prince? No, but he is he's a little funky is taking over. He has some funk in his a little funky he but it's more like rock and roll. Prince. Well, and they're the saying that the vinyl community is saying Let, that. He listen. Has. He does not sound like Prince. Wow, man. Gravis doesn't sound, he wants to sound like Prince, but he like he wants to sound like Led Zeppelin and uh, he wants to sound like Curtis Mayfield. But yeah, I like the first albums by Lenny Kravitz, but the last ones, not so much. I did watch his video like 200 times, his latest video, you know, because yeah. it gives me funny, it gives me funny feelings in my underbelly. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Oh. You see the new training video when, when he's train, training this short? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, have you seen that video, Rachel? Now, who's the training video? Is it Lenny? It's yeah. Lenny Kravitz uh, waking up in the morning all naked, and there's a film crew following him in his daily routine going to the bathroom. And well, you should... okay, you like this, uh, Fred? You like this? Curtis Blow, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I like that album. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. But uh, no, I think Lenny Kravitz, I, I, I know someone uh, from uh, Instagram who lives in Brussels, and he says that uh, he would, he's a huge Lenny Kravitz fan, immense, just like Prince and Lenny Kravitz. He thinks they, those two are the biggest men in rock, if you want, or in music. But lately, he doesn't like Kravitz anymore because it's, it's always a bit of the same, and he he's really has a lot of appreciation for... Um, Larry Larry Clark Jr. Is that his name? No, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. No, Gary Clark Jr. Gary Clark Jr. That's the one. I, yeah. But uh, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, yeah, Lenny was with a beautiful woman. Uh, this uh, angel heart was it? In the beginning, I don't remember her name. Lisa Bonet. Yeah, that was Lisa first... Bonet, and and uh, the movie Angel Heart was very very good movie. Yeah, did, you hear about the, this, uh, did you hear about this event? I wish Chance concert buddy was here. He would know the answer. But apparently the rock had uh, a testicle uh, uh, accidentally wardrobe malfunction. Uh, it leaves the confines of his shorts and Rabbit's became visible to the became visible to the crowd. There's, so, a, Robert, there's a are you familiar? Are you, have you heard about this, Fred? 
there's footage of a concert somewhere that he uh, Kravitz is like bends through his knees, you know, with his guitar playing a solo, yeah. and yeah. his pants uh, fly, uh, you know, his pants rips, and he doesn't oh. wear any underwear, so everything. Oh, no. Everything goes it's wild. Oh, there yeah. nothing left to the imagination. He has he has legal legal action taken to get to oh, uh, get it offline. I've been waiting to see that me and him had something in common, and I guess we do now. Okay, well, hold on. That's still available online. There's a link to it. Go ahead, Sue. Remember that was it SNL or someone the the coach that would the balls would hang out. The coach. She was with like the a balls. tranny or something. Remember that? Oh, the, the tranny ball. balls. Tranny coach. <laughs> oh, tranny coach with the was balls hanging movie? out. That was Adam Sandler movie. Was that an Adam Sandler movie? Does that sound <laughs> familiar to anyone? Who changes the subject every time I come online? It's it's insane. Can anyone talk about music, please, for a change? <laughs> well, you just got finished telling a story about letting Kravitz balls flying out. Yeah, but that was uh, you know, wow, well, well, fuck. This is, I blame you, Fred. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. You're it's your know. aura, Fred. It's your aura. Okay. Yeah, probably, probably yeah I remember what you're talking about. I can't remember the context of it. There. Yeah, it comes out talking to the coach. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Did, did someone read uh, Jose's uh, comment about uh, Lenny Kravitz? He said, I've never heard a single song by Lenny Kravitz, but his daughter. God <laughs> damn. Indeed, Zoe Kravitz <laughs> is a good actress. Do you know her, Rob? Yeah, yeah, she's marrying um, the the big actor Channing Tatum. I'm not asking if she's mar who she's marrying. I'm asking if she's a great actress. <laughs> she is a great actress. She did, you know, they did a TV series version of uh, the John Cusack movie about the record store. Uh, I I fidelity. Oh, that I that, that I show seen. was really good, and they abruptly canceled it. Uh, was that on HBO? Uh, no, it was like uh, here a, a show a uh, channel called Stars. I think it was on. Okay. I, well, was I think it was on HBO here in Europe. I saw that High yeah. Fidelity. Uh, so Kravitz, she acted in the second season of uh, Big Little Lies. I really love that show. Yeah, that, that that's a that's a good uh, TV Beautiful show. I think she was in the second season there. Yeah. So can mm. someone? Oh, did it? we watched a little preview of another uh, Nordic noir. We watched the Nordic noirs, Ivan. Mostly Swedish films, but they're involving like murder, and there's usually a girl detective on the case, police trying to solve it. There's a whole bunch. You guys over in the Norvegi and Sweden, mm. Denmark, are all famous for doing these kind of shows. So we're watching that. Uh, so we got one already uh, raring to go for tonight, Sue. So we I don't know the name of it. It's like for ski ski you know, <laughs> it's something like that. Uh, <laughs> And tell all they was why the trying to find it finally. But I don't know what's going on with that Loki Tio, but I tell you one thing. I hope he. I think he's married, isn't he? Did anyone mention the new Denison of Hell yet? Oh, uh, yeah, we've been over that with OJ. OJ Simpson. My thing, Wolfie, is I think the guy may have had brain damage that made him not control his emotions, so he'd get rage, blind rage, go nuts, you know, kind of thing mentally you know because of the football you know with i would hope they would actually do a, a, a an autopsy on the guy and maybe our culture i know the whole crime was horrendous and it's murder and everything but still i mean is it possible you go nuts you and you could just lose everything a liberal hero i am maybe. a liberal hero maybe in some a ways liberal, a liberal hero, hero. I love playing Kravitz at times. I know let love rule. Believe fly away. Are you going to go my way? I play them at my shows many times. Fat. All right. I love the way Apple fits. What's in the, the melody throws in fat at the end of his comments. So, you know, it's real. In, my, ahead, opinion, in my opinion, he never thought that album. Mama said that was a, that was a great, great record. Yeah. With, um, uh, what's the yeah, person? Yeah. Let love rule. I like the first one. Let love Has rule. it been a long time since he released an album? He's releasing one next month or this yeah, month. Yeah, but what was the last one? Do you know Ivan? Yeah, it was some years ago. Some years ago, but uh, around the pandemic, I think. Yeah, just before. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, 2020 or something like Holy that. Smokes. Folks, we're wrapping up now. It's uh, close to closing time. I just want to say we got to the bottom of the James moving out story. 
it seems just simply that mom and James are moving house. They're getting out. I don't think they can uh, like afford Montreal. I think it'll be a, a, a price up, a, be expensive. 20, 2018, no. Rob. 2018. Yeah, go so ahead. Call that cat means a rent, it looks like. Call it. No, that's just one of the things. <laughs> I think know? pretty sure it is. Okay. Ray, like, Rachel, do they still have boarding houses? Well, I, yeah, it's just an all. I can picture James and his mom in a boarding house where all the residents get together for dinner at, around a table, like in the well, Johnny. Okay, I, I have big fun the hat. Oh, Colette. Okay, hang on, Colette. How did we get you to come here, Colette? How did you find a channel? Welcome to the show, Colette Cat. Here's your wrench. Use it wisely. Colette used to be a great store in Paris. It was a great, uh, a great store. Yeah, but it, I, I'm starting to think that Loki Tio. Where is where is Loki Tio from? Where was he located? Uh, no one likes oh. to say, he's but in no, yeah. he's in Kerblapistan. Black of his stand. Kerblapistan. Black of his I know. Is that is that like a code word for Belgian? Because his humor, ah. he, he says the craziest things, and I started to think he's Belgian. Well, it's it's right next to where Borat yeah, is from. I watch it. So I mean, I've been Borat, Borat country. Borat. Yeah. Do you do you have a Borat suit to go to the Muscle Beach, Rob? <laughs> well, Colette, welcome to the show. Hope you uh, hope you're subbed and doing the thing, support the channel. Everybody, hit us with thumbs up. It always no, helps us out. I did it. I did it. I asked. What the, did you do? I asked a question to Rob, and he didn't know what to say. I no, asked I, him if I go to the nude beach. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let the balls fly. <laughs> yeah. I think, All I right, think, folks. I, well, I think you should stop before I get new uh, weird feelings in my other belly, don't you? Yeah, think? that's <laughs> right. We don't want a tingling in the tummy. Everybody, thanks so much for watching the show. I'll be back tomorrow, three hours, six a.m. We're going to go. Thank you, Ivan, for teaching us about bowling. Uh, rest in peace, O.J. Simpson. And uh, God bless the Brown families, the Simpson, you know, Nicole and all that. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Poof.